Hi everybody, I'm Tom the Incisive Artist. And I'm Steve, the main star of everything. And this is episode 3 of Lunar Silver Star Harmony. That's right. And for sake of my own sanity and having to render the last video, which took 7 hours, um, I'm not cutting anything again. So we're just going to get right into this. That's right. And if you remember last week, um, I think I'll let Steve uh, regale... Uh, we, uh... We fought a, a jelly thing. Uh, we 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 basically are on our way to Moravia to sell the dragon shit. I mean diamond. So that's cool. Um, on top of that, uh, we met a doofus wizard by the name of Nash, who I believe is a better punching bag than Ramus. Yeah. He's proven to be, especially that new voice for days. Holy shit. Yeah, I love how all these dudes are just kind of hanging out. That voice. That voice they gave Ramus in this is freaking a fantastic. <laughs> Not Ramus, I'm sorry, Nash. N right, Nash well. is just awesome. We're gonna start talking to people. Oh, what fine. Say? All right, let's do this. All right. Excuse me, sir, but what is this big pole used for? Sucking my dick. I mean, this is the mass, and we attach our sails to it. When the wind blows, it fills up the sails and makes the ship move. And when I poop. And when I sit on the toilet, poops comes out of my butt. And on top of that, when I pee in the toilet, pee comes out of my wiener. As simple as that. That's good to know. Oh, God. That's good to know. Are we on the right ship now? <laughs> I lived in Berg once, but now I make my home on the open seas. And with my partner, Bill. Get as you many guys as I want. <laughs> you met him up there. He's on the poop deck. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first time on a ship, huh? How do you like it so far? Um, I love it here. Everything smells like fish. Oh, 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 you don't know the half of it. Then you'll love what we're having for dinner tonight. Every kind of fish you can think of. And my wife. Alex, I'm starting to think we died and went to heaven. I don't think this is heaven, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know with how that guy's looking at you, it might be. He oh. kind of looks at you like that old shopkeeper did. He kind of looks at me like I look at Luna sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but what are you doing? What am I doing? Steering the ship, dumbass! It kind of looks like you're just standing there with your arms full. Well, I'll do what I want! D steering, does that have, have anything to do with cows? You're retarded. <laughs> I use this wheel to control the direction in which the ship sails. Also, this ship is a bad design, because technically I should be in the back. I know, right? Look look where the anchor is. They just kind of sling it over the fucking railing. But no, <laughs> if, if anybody knows anything about ship design, you know very well that that steering wheel should be in the back. If Spartan Wolf was here, he'd probably be bitching up a storm. Oh, he would be. He'd be like, this isn't proper naval procedure. Yeah, and look, he's talking about the mast being right here. It's not about his mast as it is the center. <laughs> isn't it usually the center pole? Uh, maybe... I want to say it, it is. I am, well, technically that is the center pole, because... No, because he's standing over here. Yeah, but there's a pole further back. Yeah, but that's not the center. Well, I'm not saying this is a perfect game, Tom. Well, it it was. Oh, and then the ship ruined it, right? It did. <laughs> oh, man, look at all these colorful characters. Oh, man. I wonder, see... I wonder what Forehead's got to say. Hey, how are you doing? I saw how your kids handled that monster. It's like how I handled Captain Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe you you be your children instead of trained soldiers. Well, you and the girl, the fat one, and kinda of didn't do anything. If you ever need work, I'll hire you as my bodyguard. That one who kept combing his hair didn't seem to do much neither. He just kinda of stared at me and grew pimples on his dick. Ew. Anyway, the captain tells me that this is your first visit to Mervia. True? You'll have to tell me your life. Why is the captain going around telling people our personal business? But I guess as long as there's plenty to eat, I'll be happy. No, you'd be happy if you were just smorgasbording fish all day. As much as you wish you could be doing that to Luna. I know. Yes, we're finally headed to Moravia. One more day, and I wouldn't have had a job when I got there. But now I'll be sucking dick in no time. <laughs> Try not to suck any dick on the way to the parking lot. <laughs> hey, no, get back here. 
No, I'm totally set. I hear the guys in Moravia are the cutest in the entire Katrina continent. The oh, Katrina? it's not. Cat it, or is that Katarina? It's Katarina, but it's no longer a zone. Because back in the back in the days when this was a Sega game, it was called a zone. Because that was typical of Sega. Instead of continents or lands, you call it a zone. Are you fucking kidding me? No. That is a Remember, this thing is a I've Sega ever game. Heard. I don't care. It's a Sega game, so yeah. This isn't a fucking Sonic game. Well, it was made by the Sonic guys. Who cares about the guys? Tell me about the fish. My dad says that's what my in, my in between legs smell like. God, I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> And yet, we talk to NPCs regardless. Whatever, dude! This is dude. a first class cabin. In other words, why don't you go play somewhere else, brats? We're just taking a look around. Shit. Jeez, dick. God, I hope you die. <laughs> dude, check out Eye Patch. <laughs> hey, the captain was telling me about you kids. You got back the sea chart and killed the monster. And you brought together me and my wife. <laughs> I didn't think there were any brave kids left in the world. Well, there's, there's, there's Ramus. Yeah, he's a loser. <laughs> Isn't he your best friend? Yeah, kinda. Man, I'm nervous. This is my first trip as a sailor. I've been put in charge of climbing the mast and hoisting the sails, but I'm afraid of heights. And swabbing the boat deck. Oddly enough, climbing the mast doesn't involve actually climbing the mast. Yeah. <laughs> Explain that one to me. Don't be such a chicken, man. The view of the ocean is grand from up there, and then you can even catch the scent of the fish on the wind. Or it might be the women in Moravia. I think it's both. No. <laughs> uh. We're probably gonna get banned. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of bitches! Fucking making fun of <laughs> You ever been to the continent? There's so many places to explore. The sprawling city of Moravia, governed by the legendary pirate Hell Mel. Vain, the magic city floating high above Althena's shrine. Nanza, a mountain outpost, outpost bridging the mainland and Marius region. And the quiet fishing village of Land. You'll never visit any of those places. Such a sprawling continent, those four places you can go and see. <laughs> Where do you get all your party members from? <laughs> There's no limit on adventure one can experience there. We're gonna visit all four of those places? Right, Alex? I guess so. Of course, no. They're just four freaking places. Look at how happy he is. He's like, yes! Yeah! There was two places in, in where I hand, lived! And my hand is definitely on my hip. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, I've seen you kids walking all over the ship. Haven't you been on a real ship before? As opposed to a fake ship? Um. But no, this is actually our first time ever being on a real one. Yeah, I just made mine on a cardboard. Don't, don't judge me. She just kind of took Ramus' bathtub and pushed <laughs> it in the river. <laughs> Look at him, he's still playing with his hat. He doesn't know what he's doing. Arr, good to see ya. Let me thank you again for yesterday. No. I'm still busting me cruise chops over the way they ran away like a bunch of girlies. I'm sorry I couldn't put you in the first class cabin, but I didn't have room for you. And I couldn't bump any of me paying customers after all the blooming repair costs. I needed the money. Okay. Well, that's it for me. Goodbye. Nothing else? Yep, bye. No? We steal anything? Of course not. It's there. You just can't take anything because you're like good guys and stuff. We're good guys and stuff. And stuff. Is that kind of like the four magic places we get to go and see? Oh well, in one continent, sir. You know how big a continent is? You know how many continents this world has? Four. Two. Not the four. one you were on and this one. <laughs> The That's ship a... even counts as its own little continent oh, because God. they ran out of places. Alright. What's this? What's on this dude's head? A horn? Is he a beast man? Master Mel has a daughter named Jessica. She is an absolute fox. Does that mean she is a fox? Probably. Really? Yeah, no, in this world. I hear she's also one of the strongest chicks in Moravia, so I've been working out. 
Would you like to feel my abs? Uh, from what you're saying, I think you're a bit misguided. And kind of weird for just asking strangers if you want to feel your abs. Yeah, go on, feel my abs, bro. <laughs> want to touch them, bro? Come, Come on, on bro. right here. Come on. Come on, bro. I'm at it for Mel's Mansion as soon as we reach Meridia, but I fear he's a really scary guy. No, he's not. And I doubt he has time to meet with people who just walk it off the street. Quite the contrary. He meet, he has all hobos welcome day. He does. <clears throat> it's like the day the president gets to meet with all the crazy hobos people. That sounds like pretty amazing work right there. Oh, you, you know it. What is she doing? Does she have her hand up to her face? I hope so. What do you mean, what? What are you doing? Oh, oh she is. She's bored. Almost done. Just have to train for Bread Street. And no, or I'm sorry. Is this your room? No, we're in the second class. This is our first time on a ship, though. We're going to Moribia. Moribia? You children are much too young to be going to an awful place like that all by yourselves. But it's one of the four places to visit! Yeah, one down, four and three to go! You're just joking with me, aren't you? I bet your parents are on board. Actually, my dad's busy growing a new me. Alright, go ahead and not listen. Actually, I think he said he was going to burn the place down and leave. Well, you know. And then he, like, screamed and, like, tried to swat at me. Probably. He still thinks you're a bug. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, oh God. look who it is. Two of the biggest fucking losers in the whole game. I know. You got the <laughs> the worst characters in the game That's all fine. associated in one room. Welcome to my souvenir shop. I'm fresh out of ships in a bottle, so don't ask. What the hell? That's the only reason I came here. Fuck. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, buy soap. Well, it's a good thing that I already did. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the only spot you get to buy soap in, so, yeah, go ahead and not buy eight fucking bars of soap. <laughs> How many bars did you buy? One. Good crap. Uh, I guess you get another one, don't you? I think so. Let's hope so. I All didn't right. realize that you could buy more. Yeah. Wow, good work. Well, I'm gonna buy nine. Well, what does it matter? You don't have enough for nine. How about 99? Oh man, that would be perfect. Whatever, I'm sure there's another spot. No, that's actually the that's only the spot. only spot. Yeah. Well, I guess we're not seeing the dudes. <laughs> oh no, not the dudes. I know the, the the audience wanted to see Nash. Well, they don't know yet, so don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I don't think they do. Well, we're gonna go. Alex, I don't think I've ever been so happy. We're on a fantastic. Adventure. <laughs> and we're gonna be filthy, stinking rich instead of just filthy and stinking. Hey -o! Hello! See, if I listened to my dad and stayed home, none of this would have happened. I'm surprised your dad wanted you to stay home. My dad wanted me to stay and just eat fast food all day. I'm still waiting for my. I'm still waiting for my bean burrito from Taco Bell. <laughs> Uh-oh. Before other, you sell the diamond that Ramus keeps scrambling about. I think you should meet with Master Mel. Mel? Sounds familiar. As well as you should. Mel is one of the four heroes in the Governor of Moravia. Mel is a very friendly person. He might even put up with your attitude. He's got Mel. an attitude. You're the only one in the Nash, why do you sound like you... Your balls haven't dropped yet. It's because he's got the flux capacitor on his chest, remember? Yeah, that would do it. He is, he's pissed Unbelievable! Off. I heard about you from a gambler named Clyde! You've heard about a gambler named Clyde, haven't you? Yeah, sorry about that. No, you're fine. He's trying to tell the captain that he doesn't have money to pay for his ticket. What a crock! Like, that guy doesn't have enough cash to buy his own ship by now. He doesn't. Because we took it all. I know. He did. Oh, look, there he is! Yeah, children, it's me. So after you thoroughly milling me, I decided to give up gambling for good. 
I returned all of, well, most of the money I won over the years and conned my way into the ship. All because he fucking got caught one time yep. with a fake coin? Yep. I plan to get an honest job and make an honest living. Sucking dick. <laughs> 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 like, we're gonna take you seriously, Clyde? Fucking dickhead. What's down here? Probably just a... a probably just the shit. The shit? The shit. It's the bilge pump. The bilge pump. <laughs> What's over here? It's Luna! Eh, nobody cares what she has to say. I do! <laughs> Alex has grown up so much since we set out from Bird a whole two days ago. I know. <laughs> when we left, he was just a boy, and on the outside, he still is. But he's changed somehow inside. I mean, it's, like, 48 hours, but, you know, it's all happening so very suddenly. I wish I could understand these feelings. See? She didn't even want to talk to you. I will not. Yeah, see? See? Nothing. Well, you talk to her again. What's the matter, Luna? You look awful. You have to hurl over the side? Well, I do feel seasick now that you mention it. I think we're going to lay down before it gets any worse. Besides, I want to be ready when, for when we arrive in Meridia. I can't wait! I still can't believe we're all do really doing this! Going to sleep. Man, they just cut right to the chase. Luna! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Alex? Even though I look really frightened... Luna! Huh? He's gone! Luna's missing from her bed. I don't know where she could have gone at this hour. Well, I told you we shouldn't have let her sleep by herself over across the room, underneath that weird guy that's kind of sitting there. Just kind of standing there. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. What's he doing over here? And who... Have... Is that Ramus? I think so. So why... Why did he get to sleep there? actually having a massive coronary. He's not sleeping. <laughs> it sounded like we uh, wandered into uh, a bear cave, Alex. Uh, now we understand why Ramus' dad is always such a grump. He never gets any sleep. Oh my god, Ramus sounds like he's dying of a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> the young man sleeping over there? His father is my best friend. He asked me to train his son. But his son is too afraid of his own shadow to focus on his work. I don't know how to tell his father. Wait, who who's he talking about? I have no idea. What does that have to do with anything? I'm lost. Mom, help! I'm being chased by a flying cat with a weight problem. What? Just one quick scratch, Alex. Come on, he's sleeping, so he won't feel a thing. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Captain. Lash me with that cat of nine tails. Have me keel hauled. Take my butthole. Anything but more Vulcan poetry. What the fuck is this? <laughs> that isn't from uh, <laughs> That's Hitchhiker's from Guide Park. to the Galaxy, is it? What? The Vogans? It might be. Is that a fucking Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy it might, joke? It might be, because remember, they have pop culture references in Lunar. Minus Wheaties. Everybody needs their Wheaties. Well, they took Wheaties out. Is that, is, who, is that a, is that a guy or a girl? I have no idea. Don't you go and worry, baby. Sweet Mama's got everything that Sweet Papa needs. What the fuck? <laughs> we need to stop talking to people. <laughs> Why? There's all kinds of good things to find out here. I think everyone's a fucking pervert. <laughs> Apparently. What's this you dude have to say? still up? After all that fish you ate for dinner, I figured you'd be sawing logs by now. Because we're logging? Well, that'd be kind of, that's an old term for sleep. I know, I know. I think I ate too much. I didn't think I either that was even possible. You fat. Whatever, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Trying to get your sister... No, I didn't say that. The guy did. Oh, sorry. I'm still tired. 
Why are you still up? You need to rest before we reach Moribia. You're gonna spend the entire day getting your just getting your bearings. Is that is that like innuendo for something? Wake. <laughs> but we're too excited to sleep. Uh oh. Alex! What are you still doing up? Feeling nervous? I can't say I'm surprised. If it makes you feel better. I was also a bit nervous the first time I went to Moribia. You realize, of course, I'll strike you down with thunder magic if you tell anyone. Whatever, you fucking son of a bitch. Look at you. <clears throat> Standing over there with nobody. That's right. Nobody likes Nash. Nobody at all likes Nash. Nobody he is, does. He is a piece of horse shit. We're gonna we're gonna go in and we're gonna talk to everybody who's asleep. And there you go. We're gonna see what everybody says. Oh God. What is this? What? Be careful you don't fall because I, if you think I'm gonna pay you that much money. For what? <laughs> what the hell is this? <clears throat> Come on, I want to talk to her. No, not that. No. All right. You say nothing? You don't say anything? Aw. Boom. Took the wind out of your sails. It did. Oh, because we're on a boat? We're uh, sailing? I didn't uh, mean that. Oh, God, <laughs> I should be ashamed. Hello, oh, Jessica. I'm a sweet bonbon. Do you love the sweet, playful scent of my favorite cigar? For you alone, I can make it far sweeter. What does that mean? I, is that a Bill Clinton reference? I don't know, <laughs> but I don't like it. Why is this kid so awake? I'm so excited about a chance to meet Master Mel tomorrow. I just can't get to sleep. Me neither. I keep wondering what's gonna or what he's gonna be like. He eats cats. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. He eats cats for breakfast. So he's Chinese. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Standing watch at night is a tough job. I know, just walking around, you know, doing nothing. Accomplishing nothing. Feeling seasick, kids? Yeah, I figured. You land lovers are all the same. You're fine and dandy when the ocean is calm, but the moment a two-foot wave rocks the boat, you're, ga you're grasping onto the deck rails and shumming the water with yesterday's lunch. It's fucking gross, man. Oh, man, who wants to chum those waters? <laughs> I love how everybody's got to use the fucking uh, sailing fucking terms. You're still not asleep? You two are going to regret this in the morning. Nobody asked you, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I didn't even say the line. I didn't. That's what Null really wanted to say. <laughs> People got to stop telling us what to do. Well, not really. You're doing it out of our concern. You better get some rest before the morn. You don't want to be falling asleep on the streets of Moribia. I did that once. <laughs> Y'all wake up with your money and most of your clothes missing. I just woke up with most of my clothes missing. And Still more, had the money, though. And more and more money. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot more money, oddly enough. Didn't think that would work out that way. <laughs> Of course, it, I, my mouth felt a little just sore afterwards. <laughs> Didn't know <Yeah>. why. <laughs> That's fucking All gross, right. man. Luna. Oh my god, Alex, she's gonna jump! No, she's just singing, no. <laughs>
You love that cheesy old CG. Oh man, I wouldn't have it any other way. So one of the sailors is probably coming up. He's like, "Shut the hell up, bitch! <laughs> this isn't Moribia's Got Talent. People are trying to sleep." <laughs> Doesn't Africa look nice tonight? <laughs> yeah, it shines nicely from her fucking <laughs> eyes. Oh god. Ruby, it's a god talent's been cancelled for two weeks, man! <laughs> hey, Luna, what are you- uh! Shh. Did you slap me, you dick? Shut up! <laughs> Luna's singing her heart out. No, she's not. Uh... Alex, no. How long are you two going to sleep? How the fuck are you awake? We're only a few miles away from Moribia. It's time to wake up and get some sun uh, sunshine. Luna, I hope your nose is a snooze button because I'm about ready to punch it. Oh no, shut the hell up and get out of bed. Stumble butt. <laughs> <laughs> I sure am glad you woke me up, Luna. I was having a nightmare about a bunch of selectively clad servant girls hand-feeding me fish. Excuse me for thinking you wanted to wake up sometime this year. No, are you in the women? I don't think he knows. <laughs> I think he knows fish and cats. That's... But he doesn't like cats. And he doesn't like dog. Or no, he likes cats. He doesn't like dogs. That's fair. Alright, everybody's awake. We gotta see what they got to say. Yeah. We're in Moribia, Alex. We're really in Moribia. Give me a big juicy pinch. And then a... Five tacos and a and a hot ready and and a Canova burrito and and McDonald's Big Mac burrito and a McDonald's and because I have to be dreaming. <laughs> Let's see my dad yell at me when I come home with a sack full of silver and a hundred more pounds on my fat then. ass. <laughs> I don't think Ramus is a little over. Or I think Ramus is a little overwhelmed right now. I'm thinking about food. Well, aren't you excited too, Alex? You don't have to be calm. Yeah, but that's kind of how I roll. It's okay to let go of your emotions once in a while, and you know, actually say something or. No, you know, no, I'm good with what I'm doing. As as it just shifts, to, it's like a fucking SpongeBob <laughs> picture of Alex just. <laughs> just a serious? super realistic picture. Yeah, it's, it's a serious face. <laughs> Why don't you calm down? Maybe it isn't going anywhere. What if it is, though? Why are you so restless, Nash? You're just as worked up as the rest of us. So that I can report to Rome. Oh, because everyone knows you think more clearly when your heart is pumping. Wait, report to what? Uh, Rolls Royce! Ro Rolls Royce? It's a new type of wagon! Shut up! That's right. I'm well. legit! Hmm. Alright, what's this dude got to say? Gambling is a disease. A disease without a cure. After I quit, I vowed to never start again. 
which reminds me, do you want to make a bet that I'll never start again? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> I guess this guy doesn't exactly practice what he preaches. That dude's a piece of shit right there. <laughs> God, he's kind of terrible. Well, let's see what Clyde's up to. If I can't get a job in Moribia, perhaps I can start a business of my own. Sucking dick. How about Clyde's card shop? Or Clyde's drinking establishment at Furniture Emporium? <laughs> I mean, really, who hasn't wanted a shop for a coffee table while also getting completely knackered? Dude, he's got a good point. I ain't gonna lie, he's got a South Business venture. <laughs> Give that we can mix that with anything, alright? Give that motherfucker alone. <laughs> you want to you buy a new car? Well, here's a bar right inside. Well, give that motherfucker alone, man. I'll sign up for this. I think you must be quite knackered to come up with an idea like that, I, even though it does sound pretty pretty good. Pretty sounds awesome. <laughs> I would invest in that. We're going to. We're All good. the money we're getting from the Dragon Diamond is being invested in the Clyde's drinking establishment and furniture emporium. All right, we're doing this. Everybody's back. Oh, man, it's like they're in the same exact spot. They are. I wonder if they're going to say anything different. Probably not. If you get lost, don't ask anyone for directions. They sooner muggy than help you. Dude, is this place Detroit? Is that where we're sailing <laughs> Going to? Going to Moribia, Detroit. Don't ask for directions, because when people try to help each other, you're going to die. <laughs> so how'd you sleep last night, kids? From the way those pillows are hanging below your... Below you kids' eyes, I take it as a no. I'm sure sailing aboard such a fine vessel as this one has got to be quite adventure, eh? Yeah, but when we get to Moribia, we're gonna have to, you know, be even better adventure, right, Alex? Luna? Uh, sure, we're going to all four places in, <laughs> in the Katrina. In the Katarina continent. As Luna's like, wow, there's four? There's four? That beats our three. That's two more than I ever read about. <laughs> what What happened? My friend's son used to be an incompetent, but now he's throwing himself into his work. Did your kids say something to him? Who did we talk to? We didn't talk to anybody. Not really. Oh, no, not really. I mean, I, I guess we're just naturally inspiring. Or you whispered nightmare whispers into his ear again and all, like it, you did with Dad. Wait, is that who it was that I wanted to scratch him? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Why? You guys are right. I shouldn't be afraid. I mean, you left your home to seek out adventure. And here I am complaining about doing my job. Please forgive me and uh, don't tell the other crewmen. Hey guys! This guy sucks! This guy's a stupid dude! They already think I'm a big wuss. Oh, they're pretty much right. Don't travel too far from Moribia. Not because I'm worried about you. Because we'll need your help if another one of those monsters get hungry. Ha 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 this is the beginning for both of us. Take care and wish me luck. Thanks and good luck. She getting her her jaw muscles She's all getting her jaw muscle relaxed. For the second. Okay, here's the plan. I go to Mel's mansion. I dazzle him with my sculptured abs and of chiseled stone, bra. All right, then I get married to Jessica and live off Mel's wealth for the rest of my look. Incredibly luxurious life. How do you think of that? About that, bro? Yeah, I mean that it's it's a plan, but I wonder if we'll get to meet Jessica along with her dad. And it's gonna work, bro. Warn her about this free. No, we're gonna bra off. I hope you're more interested in Mel than Jessica, Alex. Uh, sure. <laughs> Is this like <laughs> what did I have to do with this? Yeah, he's talking about showing off his abs and stuff. No, no, I'm just Alex. No, it's the one going around talking to everybody. Yeah, I haven't said, like, more than five words since this <laughs> game started. <laughs> I know, Alex's voice actor got, like, half a page. Here you go. I'm the main character, right? 
<laughs> as Rammus has like twice. Yeah, it's like that guy. That, that guy's playing the fat kid, just like <laughs> <laughs> he's only until the first town. What the fuck's going on? Here? He's got more than fucking Alex. Ah, uh, good morning. Well, I'll be arriving in Meridia very soon. I bet you guys are ready to return to land. Well, Alex, no. Did you check to make sure you didn't forget anything in our room? I checked everything. And did you make the beds? No, I mean yes. <laughs> I thought Luna might lighten up on this adventure, Alex. Man, was I wrong. I need that structure in my life, no. <laughs> That's all I got. It's not like Dad taught me anything. He just said to get out by that time <laughs> I learned how to walk. <laughs> Arr, my voyage ends when we reach Moravia, but yours is starting. One down, three to go. <laughs> <laughs> I've sailed every sea in this world, and let me tell you, there's always new adventures to be found. Every sea, all one and a half. All the seven seas, but you only see two of them. Seven seas that are about the size of this lake. <laughs> Wow! It's even more magnificent than I imagined, Alex. Look at all the ships in the harbor and the city beyond! Wow! Meribia is much bigger than any place we've ever seen back home! I wonder if it's as big as the other three places! <laughs> and why did I sound like Shinji Ikari? Because your voice actor changed and all. <laughs> He probably is voiced by Shinji. You know what? Look it up. Yeah, let's look that shit up. Well, it's been fun, but I have some business to attend to. Well, I'll be in Moravia for a while. He won't. If you need to find me here, I usually spend time with my fellow mages over on Black Rose Street. So long, then. I thought he meant the bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> the bad. <laughs> He's going to the Blue Oyster Club. <laughs> At last, we're finally in Moravia. It sure is a big city. All right, back to business. I'm going to find a shop and sell this diamond for a ton of silver. Like a ton of silver? A I little ton? It weighs or? as much as me. <laughs> wow, that's as much as you? Wow, wow, Ramus, that's promising a lot. <laughs> See, even he's just like... We're gonna be rich, Alex! Filthy, stinking, and rich! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna be filthy and stinking, but. <laughs> I think I'm almost as excited as he is! Come on, Alex, let's go look around! Alright. Well, one of the four heroes, Master Mel, lives in this city, right? I mean, we only heard it like 30 times. Uh, you wanna see him, don't you, Alex? Oh, you mean the exposition? Yeah, to tell us where to go next? <laughs> sure. All right, I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, we need to know now. All right, so IMBD, here we go. Cause that really did fucking sound like it him. It did. Hold on. The the voice actor's name is Spike Spencer. So. back to the boat. That looks like a freaking pedophile. I can go back to the boat! Or wait, no, what is this? I didn't go down here. <laughs> oh god. What is this? Alright, hold up. Go to the full filmography. Alright, filmography. Here we go. All filmography. Move out of the way, old man. We can't get by. Catch a cold sleeping in a place like this. Shut up, the bull here! <gasps> in the free city of Moravia, I can do as I please. Look at that guy, man. He looks fucked up. He does. He has the red cheeks. <laughs> can I get back on? Oh my god, no, I can't. No, I'm blocked. I guess a it doesn't really matter. Is it him? I'm still looking. He's got like so many voice acting. 
things under his damn name. Holy shit. Dude, this is the greatest place in the world. Oh my god, it's a freaking... It's a den fest. It is, dude. Alright, what year did the Lunar thing come out? In 2011 or 12. Welcome to the Seagull Tavern, the home of the finest ale, freshest food, and the friendliest folk in Moravia. What's that? How can I run this kind of business under Master Mel's rule? Well, I can run this business because of Master Mel. He protects every man's right to be drunk and sexist. Alright, so, <laughs> let me let me give you a little prehistory. The same voice acting in the Touch version of Lunar for uh, iPads and mobile phones mm -hmm. uses the same voice acting. And it is him. Boom. Told you, He's I null. was not crazy. Null is Shinji Akari, everybody. I am so sorry, Null. For the worst... Fucking That's accurate. fine. I'll yeah. just I'll just think of him as magic from Orphan. You're gonna have to. But yeah, all right. That's pretty solid. Who else do you get to play a pre and bass voice that fucking guy who played Shinji? Whatever. I like I like voicing all better than Shinji. <laughs> well, it's simple to, to voice Shinji. All you do is spank off and cry. <laughs> I'm the savior. Whine about my dad. Yeah, and, and you have to whine about your dad while spanking off on a 14-year-old girl. You looked so serious when you said that. Like, <laughs> I don't yeah, even know what to face. say there. It's like a serious face? Shinji it's like you, you cut all the shit for that moment. <laughs> like, you have to do this if you're gonna sound like Shinji. Yeah, That's... you gotta you got sound like you have the intent of jerking off on teenage girls. <laughs> We are not crazy. Go and watch Evangelion if you don't know what we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, watch the end of Evangelion if you think I'm talking insanity. Our main protagonist, folks. He's he's a teenage boy. He's got issues. He does have issues. That right? killed the world. He had many problems that and, he needed to work and on. And spooge on a German ginger. <laughs> All right. How I love the vast ocean. My heart is filled with warmth when I gaze upon its shimmering waters. I knew long ago the ocean was my home, when it was sweet solitude was my freedom. That's nice to know. There's your twin over here. Oh, man. You know. you know that guy? Hail, travelers. Hail, kids. Hail, fellow kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hail, travelers. It's good to see a ship from safe enter the harbor. I was wondering what was happening over there. Welcome to Moribia. Is this your first time in our fair city? Don't let the sides fool you. It's a friendly place. That's not what we heard. I certainly hope you're right. The city does seem to be immense. Oh, this is exciting. Would you like to follow me to the den of excitement? I can show you a rough and good time. Ha 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 ha. We are. We're gonna go here. We're gonna see what's in this place. All right, dude. Is that Clyde? Is it? Here we go, boys. Yeah. Looks like I beat y'all again. <laughs> let me tell you, it's all. Let me tell y'all, it's hard to make winning look this easy. Is that Clyde? Is I he have... being a dick again? Yeah, probably. This is a bunch of shit. Shit, I say. This guy was has won every single hand. Either he's cheating or he's the luckiest dog I've ever had the misfortune of playing cards with. Doesn't help that I show him my hand. <laughs> he's got it flipped around backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's going on here? This guy is that bad never lost. I drank eight beers before we tell the <laughs> God damn! He got you good and drunk. <laughs> hey, it's my lucky number! Yeah, look, he's drunk so much, he's literally not moving. Yeah, he's literally just painted into the scene. <laughs> without a uh, movement animation. Oh, let's God. see what this dude's up to. Some young kid by the name of Kyle is in charge of Nan's barrier to the south. And he's also the leader of a notorious gang of bandits and thieves. Master Mel hates the kid, but he doesn't have the manpower will to go out and arrest him. <laughs> Probably really? because he's fucking his daughter. 
And there's, a, and there's the fact that Kyle and his men only steal from the rich. Oh man, he's Robin Hood. He's Kevin Costner. Oh god, no. He's too epic. <laughs> Which naturally makes him very popular with everyone else. Especially the 2%. <laughs> but I've worked my butt off all my life to get where I'm at today. Now all I got is a stinking pension and a divorce. Now I'm just wasting away in a bar. And the last thing I want is for some bullying little punk to take it all away from me. So I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't be a taking, piece of shit. He ain't taking shit from me, boy. <laughs> I bet you guys heard about the grindery, right? It's supposed to be a freaky combo of magic and machine, bro. Grindery? Do they make grinders? Oh, they sure did. It's just a giant grinder maker. Or a giant sub. <laughs> then again, I heard a rumor in this place that Master Bell once killed a man for snoring too loud. What? That is such a jarring subject change. <laughs> you hear about the grindery? It's this weird, mach it's this weird machine and magic thing. I mean, it's By totally way, not going to be something later on. Yeah, I know, foreshadowing, right? But. No, have, uh, but by the way, Mel kills people for snoring. He doesn't like them snoring. That is so jarring. That's like listening to a Donald Trump speech. <laughs> you mean to tell me you're not voting Trump? I'm I'm voting my right hand at this fucking point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your right hand? I'm voting for my dad. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Batman's running. My dad? Yeah. That's not Batman. That, that is all a matter of timing. Oh, yeah. Well, seeing how his parents are still alive and he's not, and he doesn't have half a million to invest in a super suit, I think he's not, not going to be Batman. Uh. Why, hello, you're such a beautiful young woman. You must be here looking for work, aren't you? I'm sure <laughs> you'll be our most popular hostess. I mean, just look at you. I hope you got a strong jawbone there. Why is she looking at you, Alex? <laughs> oh, wait, you're uh, you're very kind, but oh, um, God. I'm not here for a job. She looks like she's like <laughs> crying and shit. Really, I'm sorry to hear that. You seem like a nice girl. I'm sure you make a small fortune in tips. Uh... Luna, maybe you should try it out. <laughs> it really wouldn't be a bad idea to get some extra silver. Hi there! You guys want to sing with me? Great, okay, I'll go first! Ew! <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> really, I have to stand here and listen to it? <laughs> you open the fucking gates, Holmes. That's what you get. That was wonderful. Bullshit. You have a beautiful voice. No, he does not. Thanks so much! I'm just grateful to the goddess Althena that for the blessing me with the gift of song. He didn't. I must admit she's pretty good, but she ain't no Luna. She's not even close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can you even compare it and all? Yeah. That uh <laughs> That sounded like an abortion happened with my ears. <laughs> I don't mean to speak too low of the subject, but my ears are still hurting. <laughs> yeah, Alex is just like what? Why, my ears? Huh? Ah. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was funny, but. Uh. I traveled from my village to Moribia once a month to do some shopping. Have you come here to shop too? Uh, actually, no. Well, if you have money with you, be careful, there's some seedy types around here, like flying cat things. <laughs> That's why I recommend Moravian Traveler, Moravian Express Traveler. Yeah. Don't leave Moravia without him. You fucking bitch! This is not a fucking goddamn um, Sam Jackson you, should be doing this. No, Traveler's Checks is so fucking outdated. Yeah, but now he's doing like Chase Mastercard or whatever. No, he's, he's doing Capital on. One. Capital One Platinum. Yeah. Don't leave home without it. Um, does she know that traveler's checks are about as old as my grandparents? Maybe. Alright. We're playing the four heroes, but we don't have a galleon. Would you play the part of galleon for us? No! Everybody else wants to actually get with Althena. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Alex only plays as Dragon Master Dime. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Look, it's Joker. 
Ah, Dragon Master died! Taste the cold steel with my blade! Oh, hey, did your mom ever teach you not to run in with sharp objects? Well, they told me to carry the scissors the other way! <laughs> You'll put your eye out, kid! <laughs> You'll poke your eye out. <laughs> there you are, foul monster! I, the mighty Hell Mel, will punch your lights out! Ouch! What are you doing? I'm not a monster, but I'm gonna bite your little... Yeah, Don't be silly, I mean... no. He's just a cute little boy. Oh yeah, nothing cuter than a fish-shaped bruise on your tummy. I don't know, I think we should go play Galleon. Well, well, well. Go play Galleon and sit in the corner, just like... I wish Althina would touch me. I just don't be like me. <laughs> Why is Dai the only one who talks to me? This Welcome, guy. Traveler. You've come to the right shop. What can I do for you today? Well... Did I you, do need. Wait, did, did, you need buy, did you already buy? Did you already buy off screen? I did, but something happens that I kind of need this stuff. Oh, that's right. I I know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking. Nothing happens. I like you're on okay. drugs. That little girl is like somebody play Galleon. Galleon. Oh, Galleon. We need a Galleon. This Galleon himself goes. I'll play Galleon. <laughs> Somebody's no. talking to me! Somebody no. wants to play me! No, no, we're good. <laughs> you can go away, sir. <laughs> but I'm he legitimate. <laughs> He's so fucking attention starved, he goes around town looking for kids and playing the four heroes and plays himself. <laughs> no, no, Galleon, we're good. Oh. Okay. Is, is he like Al Gore in fucking <laughs> South Park? <laughs> Ugh, that's funny. I know we're not voicing the shopkeepers, but whatever. It's shopkeepers. Seriously. Slap shopkeepers. There you go. There's no reason at all I am armoring Alex. Okay, not trust at all. me. Trust no. me. He's he's good. I'm not doing it for any reason. Yeah, this is alright, guys. Now, it, it, you just want to be ready for the next dungeon, right? I do. Alright, you sure you don't want to play Galleon? You good? No. You good? Okay. No. I'm... I'm a real man. Who who would have played Galleon in, in Berg? Oh, God, Raymond. No. Ramus would have been hell melt. Berg, Galleon would have been like a stuffed animal that sat in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Galleon, cast spells on us! <laughs> Just that's, that's over, right, over top Null as he's sleeping because Null's Althena. It's <laughs> kind of like... <laughs> have you heard of Bane? My brother's studying magic there. I want him to come back home. He'll have to study magic too to become a dragon master, Alex. No, probably not. Man, that that NPC was like that Mr. Hanky uh, commercial. Which one was that? The very first one. I'm having so much fun with Mr. Hanky. <laughs> I wish Daddy was still alive. <laughs> the mom's like in an awkward position. So no she builds a poo, Dad. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just, this is the kids are having fun making Mr. Hanky, and then it was the daughter randomly just says, "I wish Daddy was still alive," and the mom's just like <laughs> awkwardly looking away. Moravia attracts traders from all over the world. They flock here to buy and sell their wares, ranging from common to extremely rare. Is that right? Alex, I wonder if we can find a nice present for your parents. What, a bottle of booze? <laughs> As Nald's just like, don't kid yourself, Luna. They're probably going to be gone when we get back. <laughs> well, maybe your dad. Your mom's going to be in the backyard. Planning Alex 5. <laughs> or just buried below it. <laughs> the warehouses in Moribia are filled with valuables, which are bought and sold by the merchants. Before Master Mel took over the town, we were the constant target of thieves and pirates. That's good to know. Yeah. It is good to know. Master Mel used to wield a huge axe with only one hand. 
It was very impressive to say the least. Was it? They say he was absolutely fearless on the battle, in the field of battle. Thanks, Doctor Strange. Blonde Doctor Strange. And he was useless in the field of love. <laughs> Whatever, he was the only one married, he's above Galleon. That's true. <laughs> Shit. A six-year-old romance is fucking above Galleon. And even Lamia must have gotten married. Yeah, she, well, she had to have, yeah. He, well, fuck, a six-year-old's version of love is above Galleon at this point. <laughs> fucking poor Galleon. Does nobody love me? Please, somebody pay attention to me. <laughs> I need somebody to love. White, red, blue, black, these are the four dragons, legendary pre protectors of goddess Althena. But a legend is all I believe it to be. A fairy tale made up to pal... to okay. palcate the masses. It's not make-believe. We met with the white dragon on Han Mill Isle. Oh, really? Did you say hi to the Tooth Fair while you were there? Man, I kill myself. In fact, we did say hi to Dwayne the Rock Johnson, if you mean, mean you need to know. Well, we did say hi to the Tooth Fairy while she was fucking your dad. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I want to see a dragon, but my mom and dad say there aren't any. They're wrong, aren't they? I know in my heart that dragons are real. Yeah, they do exist. No, we're gonna crush her. No, hopes. no, they do exist. That's right. Okay. Really? Are you sure? There's one behind me. Yeah, of course. We met with Quark the White Dragon. There's one behind me. I knew it. Yay! <laughs> Will you take me to meet Quark someday, pretty please? As soon as you can fight. Yeah, which I mean, that'll that's... be in five years. That's kind of weird to ask just random people barging into your house if you take them somewhere. Uh, not really. This is JRPG. That's yeah, true. Normal. My little girl keeps rambling on about wanting to see a dragon and asking random strangers to take her to see one. I, I tell her that they don't exist, but what if they do? It's too terrible to even think about. Are you, like, getting over a Santa complex or something? Did he, like, deliver you a shitty gift or something? You just haven't really gotten over it yet? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? There's only two beds in this house. Yeah? Two beds! <laughs> yeah. The white... And, like, five dressers worth of clothes, but only two dressers. You're right. Two beds. The mom and the dad share one, even though it's a size single. <laughs> Maybe he just stands out here all night. <laughs> just stares at his wife while she's sleeping. And his daughter. <laughs> Dude, look at their nice picture of a boat. Dude, we all need a nice picture of a boat, Tom. Alex is just mesmerized by it. Um, you know, that's a schooner. <laughs> schooner is a sailboat, stupid, stupid head. You know what? The Easter Bunny's friend! <laughs> Where are we? We're gonna bust in everybody's house. Is this driving you nuts yet? No, not yet. Oh man, look at these guys. You're from the village of Berg. You know I have a daughter in Berg. When you go back there, could you tell her that I miss her? No. I haven't heard from her for the longest time. Oh, yeah, isn't she that one that ended up in a ditch? <laughs> We know that woman. She said not to worry and that she's doing fine, I I think. Yeah, I think we talked to her. Oh, you know her. I'm so glad she's doing all right. I'm indebted to Althena for answering my prayers. Yeah, you're welcome. Jessica is the only child of Mel. Her mother died when Jess was very young, or so I heard. Isn't that fucking convenient? It's always convenient, so, so they don't have to make another sprite. Wow. Mel dotes on his daughter and she loves him too. They really do have a very special relationship. Very special. How special are we talking about? Jessica's quite a tomboy. Her mother was so mild-mannered, but I guess her father's side won out. She's so much like he was back in the early days, raping and pillaging and killing children. <laughs> he was a pirate after all. That sounds terrible. What do you think pirates did for a living? Hey, they had dressers to make a bedroom. I know, right? 
Jesus. Who needs walls in Moribia? They just have dressers everywhere for all their fucking clothes. It works. I don't remember the music always going off when you leave. One of Moribia's most wonderful conveniences is its sewer system. Why would I care about I'll that? I'll take indoors over an outhouse any day, you know? You know? What's an indoor? You know? What is... What... What are you talking about? <laughs> but I hear rumors that the waste has attracted vile creatures. Do you think it's true? Wait, wait. You don't use outhouses here? How do you take a shit? You mean they uh, don't just use the hole? Wait, you don't have to cross the streams on the chamber pot? Bur no, Bird <laughs> just has what is known as the, the hole. The hole. <laughs> In the public hole where everyone just openly <laughs> His walk by. Good morning! Just see him for a piss! <laughs> that is so fucking what gross. What if somebody has, like, diarrhea? <laughs> well, then the hole's occupied for a little while. Then that guy's getting pissed on, it sounds like. <laughs> Make room for the hole! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> this grand structure is the residence of Master Mel. He deserves only the finest. Mel has an open door policy, so the citizens of Moravia may come and go as they oh, please. Oh, God. Why don't you come inside and take a look? I guarantee you'll be impressed. If this was the real world, yeah. this would be filled with with crackheads. I know, right? In a place that people. we were told you'll get mugged, you will... <laughs> Get your clothes and your money taken if you fall asleep on the street. Luna was given a prostitute job. Yes, yeah, several people have told us horrible things <laughs> about this place. And yet we got a den where crackheads can just hang out all day. Yeah, the governor says that you can just come into his house. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if Rick Schneider's just open with uh Flint people. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I wonder if Mel is inside. Well, oh, I, I, I want to so. make fun of myself when I talk as Luna because it's like, just said that it's Mel's house. And she's like, I wonder if Mel's inside. I hope so, Luna. You alright, Luna? I wonder if Blue's the new blonde. Oh, God. I hope not. I've been watching her for these years. I didn't think she was getting stupid. Right? Yeah, she's just sitting there like... <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the entrance hall of Master Mel's Mansion. Mel is the Grand Ruler of Moravia. Really? Dude, there was a guy right out front that just told us this. Oh, no. You should play Lufia, too, where there was a chancellor and a king's throne. The king was sitting on the throne. And the guy said, That is the king! That was his line of dialogue. That's the king over there. You know, you should rewatch. I think it's uh, three or four of Secret of Mana when we're in the... Uh, it's not the Empire, it's the castle where we're trying to find the, the spy. But yeah. And everybody saw and they even did that. Like, that's the king over there. And we even... You remarked that exact same oh, way did, about it. You told it. that story. Yeah, I did. Like, god damn it. <laughs> well, it's true. It's always in these video games. <laughs> these translations are fucking awful sometimes. This is the mansion of Master Mel. Mel is friendly, but don't be rude. He finds rudeness intolerable. I heard this, like, 19 times before if, coming in here. How, how does he find it intolerable if he has an open-door policy? Exactly! This hallway should be filled with crackheads shaking right about now. Seriously. I'm gonna tell the governor to uh, make lots of attacks on crack buying. <laughs> we need more more crack dispensers. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the governor about uh, up in the uh, Disability Act. <laughs> maybe I the, really gotta shave my balls. Maybe this guy's a crackhead. Mel's a great boss and a great guy, but he hasn't always been that way. He was a fearless pirate and a fearsome warrior known only as Hell Mel. Hard to believe, isn't it? I've never met the guy before, but I heard he's a nice guy with rules. Yeah, like 50 people have already told us this. Look at her, she's just kind of like, huh. 
Mal's wife was daughter of an aristocrat who lived here in Moravia. After a secret romance with Mel, who was still a pirate captain at the time, they tied the knot. It was so romantic, I hope I find my true love someday. I don't give a shit. I know, he totally only had a little bit of scurvy and <laughs> raped only a few people. <laughs> Listen, Mel is such a romantic, he found her in the middle of the night and just had been forced to have Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't even think words were exchanged between the two. She said, oh god, a pirate, and he said, you're mine. And that was about the set of the relationship. He swooped in <laughs> through the fucking window. <laughs> was already mid-flight with his pants down and just bopped right in. <laughs> Sorry, dude, you okay? <laughs> Steve was trying to drink something I should have been speaking while. <laughs> Oh, God. Are you all right? Yeah, give me a minute. You're going to have to do some talking for now. <laughs> yeah, see, clearly Luna wasn't thinking here, <coughs> because she's just like, wow, I think all of us do. Oh, God. Alex, your face is all red. Are you feeling okay? Not at all, no. <laughs> see, Steve was just getting prepared for that. <coughs> Poor Steve. What's that? We're not having a party. All of this is for Master Mel. Are you serious? His appetite is almost as legendary as his strength. <laughs> In his prime, the master would have eaten twice as much. Are you serious? Now he's counting his calories at the request of Miss Jessica. Wow, Master Mel just became my favorite of the four heroes. <coughs> what, is he counting them as he goes in his mouth? Alex, do you think Nal could give Mel a run for his money? I mean, Rambus definitely could. Yeah, but... Rambus, this is a Rambus, like, this is a Rambus quick snack. This is a happy meal for us. <laughs> a fucking ham, a, a turkey. A turkey. Um, let's see stuffing. here, what else? We got stuffing. Stuffing. Um, probably. probably gravy. A Mountain Dew. You see it? Okay, we'll call that Mountain Dew. All right, what's this? What's this lady <laughs> say? Excuse me, pardon me. So much to do, so little time. And you're standing in one place. There are times when I wish I had a third arm to keep up with all the you're cleaning. You're just standing in one place. This lady's been sniffing the fumes too long. Yeah, because Or the crack look... everybody's talking about. <laughs> well, he's literally just standing in one place. So she. Master Mel sent Jessica to the shrine to become a priestess. <sighs> but I doubt that spoiled brat takes her studies seriously. She hasn't had to work for anything her entire life. Why should she start now? <laughs> That's a good question. Master Mel doesn't know that his daughter's a total tomboy. When he's around, she puts on her innocent little girl act. So, <coughs> there's a lot of chairs at that table. There is. And about, Ramus can fit about three of them. And dude, that fountain is just going so fucking fast. Look at it. It's like, somebody, set, set on normal mode. You mean turbo? Yes! Actually, I think it's set on uh, Rambus's <laughs> fucking heart. <laughs> Rambus's heartbeat. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. You gotta love it. <laughs> this is Mel's conference room. The master's door is open to all. Go on inside. Get out of my way! Mel, I got an idea for crack cocaine! Mel got some of that crack in here? <laughs> oh! No one is allowed past this point without Master Mel's er, permission. Bruh. But he, he has an open door policy. <laughs> Not there, though. Not there, just the front door. Yep, just, just that door. Just nope. that door? Well, you get gotta go into his office. And, and in here. I could go in here, though. But you came out the same. That's mm -hmm. all the kitchen. That's Rambus' snack chamber. <laughs> should we go see Mel first, or should we go look around town a little bit more? Let's look around town a little bit more. Alright, we can go look around town. Because once we talk to Mel, that's when the plot happens. Ooh, the plot thickens. <laughs> yeah, kinda. All right, did All right. we talk to everybody? Uh, have we? I think we did. Oh. Does it say anything? We're not fine, bro. I got here. Try resetting it. Alright.
All right, there we go. So we're good. Might have been my phone, yeah. All right. Just pay attention. Let's see, if, are they walking around? They're walking uh, around in circles. Do 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 do. Give it a moment. It's moving at all. You see Null's wings flapping. It might be our long pause. I just want to make sure they they go walking around. Yeah. There you go. They're gonna go. They're gonna go in circles. Yeah, they're going in circles. They are going in circles. They are okay. going in circles. All right. Sorry, right, we're good. I'm watching this on my phone too, in case we at least get one person in the chat room. Whatever, we're entertaining ourselves. We kind of are. Holy crap! This Dude, I take off. Oh man, the time. The time just saved itself. I was about to take offense to it. Oh, 9/11. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, huh? they have one of the Althea bananas. Yeah, she's holding her dick, man. Wow. <clears throat> Welcome to Arabia, a great city of freedom, straight, incredible wealth. Oh my god, his tent is rainbow colored. Make sure you're minding your own business here. Arabians are not like no like the nosy people. Okay, now, okay, are, are Moribians decent, or do they mug you, or do they not like nosy people? I don't know anymore. Moribians just sound like shit. I know, this place is terrible. I hate it. I'm gonna leave. Moribians give you cancer. Dross the Jeweler isn't from Moribia, but he set up a shop here nonetheless. I don't think he's a very reputable guy. In fact, in all honesty, I think he's a crook. The next time someone has trouble with him, I think Master Mel will take care of it. Is Ramus going to be okay? I'm worried about him. Don't just treat the deal like top, like a handful of tacos. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing Luna pays attention like every, you know, 10-15 minutes. A large ship from Moribia signed a contract with the city of Vane to transport their magicians. They call on the wind spirit to move the boat and the water spirit to guide them. They've sailed for years using these wondrous means. Also, do you want to buy some of my hemp? Yeah. What's a crack? Because I've been seeing these spirits in the physical yeah. form. Hi! You know, if you walk west to the edge of the town, you'll end up on Black Rose Street. A lot of magi and magicians live there. Isn't that where Nash said he was going, Alex? We should go check it out. See, she pays attention. Sometimes. I mean, at least she was right this time. There you go. Instead of, I wonder if Mel lives there. <laughs> she got to tilt her head and look up like, hmm. Does Mel live there? I forgot, bro. Who is this? In Moribia, humans and beastmen work side by side. This is the first place I've ever lived where I haven't been affected by prejudice or stereotypical thinking. Bruh. Well, clearly you haven't been to Detroit or Flint. Yep. And if this was a real governor, he would have already poisoned his people by now. <laughs> or embezzled a ton of money. Oh, wait, no, that was the mayor. Yeah, that was the mayor. Okay, can you tell me this? Why did that one house have two beds for three people, but this house has one person with two beds? Because some days you just need to switch beds. One bed's not good enough Sometimes you feel like one bed, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you need to sleep with your body out in the middle. Makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what, you're, what you're talking about there. Yeah. You're kind of having a Luna moment there. Huh? Just kind of like... Is there puppies? <laughs> Get out of the way! Oh, oh my god! Out of the fucking way! Piece of shit. You fucking destroy the world now. Oh, this place looks totally lame. Who wants a crack? <laughs> I like to describe Black Rose Street as a compact version of Bane's, of Bane's Magic Guild without the elitist attitude. At least not too much of it. Uh, yeah, yes. Not to mention the altitude. Heh <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Dude, this so every, place... Every character has to act bored. This place is like a little slice of San Francisco in Moravia. Are we going gay vibe or elitist vibe? Elitist. Okay, totally. Like this dude? Welcome to the Fire School Shop on Black Rose Street. 
You mean the only tool shop? From daily necessities to invaluable items, you'll find an astonishing array of articles available here. Let's see what oh. I got. Looks like just items. Totally don't care. Thanks for nothing, you piece of shit. Remember that we have an exclusive on Starlight. You can't buy it anywhere else outside of Vain. Dude, is this a pharaoh? Maybe. Like an Egyptian dude? My significant store is blessed a thousand times over by wonderful, wondrous presents. I have a selection of many fantastic more from magical items for sale. My first item is the Magic Toothbrush. It scrubs your teeth while you sleep. At least I'm bright, not just white. I can tell you need, you want one, you need one! Can I get it, Alex? It sounds like it'd be kind of fun. No, are you really too lazy to clean your own teeth now? No brush for you. I knew she'd say no. It'll be your fault when I contract gingivitis, Luna. <laughs> really? He's a little shit talker, man. It's your fault if my teeth fall out. No, I don't think I'm so. I'm just gonna no. start gumming stuff. <laughs> Gum <laughs> my fish. Man, man. Dude, look at this purple. Look, is that the, the fucking symbol of uh, truth or whatever from uh, Zelda? Probably. I don't remember. <laughs> what the fuck did that dude just say? I heard fascia. Yeah, baby. Look at this. Look at this fucker. He looks like Christian Slater or something. Most of the people who live on Black Rose Street learn to use magic in vain. Almost everyone you meet here has a degree from the Magic Guild, myself included. Dude, Wayne's back. <laughs> Where's his fucking S10 or whatever oh. it was? Oh, it's God, Silverado. Yeah. It's Silverado. <laughs> We were chosen to come here because of our particular skills are suited to the world of the ground dwellers. And my Silverado. Dude, that guy's kind of an asshole. I can't understand what that one guy said! Yeah. There's a new fortune teller shop on the Black Rose Street. It's being run by a magician from Vane. They're all from Vane! Shut up. I heard that she's very good at peering into the future, and that she's, uh, huh, very hot. Are you in the girls? Alex, why don't we ask her about the dragons? Maybe she'll know something. Or maybe she'll be a complete cunt. As long as it's like, what? Don't worry about it, Luna. Nothing bad can happen by meeting her. hoo <laughs> I'm a bad witch! I'm a fish up here on the top! And hell, I was again a natural looking head of fake hair! A natural looking head of fake, fake hair. Even though his sprite has hair. Shh. Calling shenanigans on this. Gray. It is gray. You have the dragon ring. Quark only gave that to a person who passed his trial of walking into his next room. <laughs> and that seems to be you. The ring is proof that you have the qualities of a dragon master. I heard that Dine Ward, as well, he walked into the other room too. Personally, I thought the dragon diamond was a lot more impressive, even though it kind of smelled bad. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What's gonna go on here? And that's what happened! I still haven't determined if singing is the key! But I have a strong suspicion that it is! Nash, your friends have come. So have I! Oh, you mean they're here! <laughs> Alex, Luna, did you think to knock before entering? 
Her voice is way too high pitched for me to try to mimic. Not to mention, has no boobs whatsoever. Until she. ball well, later. Welcome, young ones. I see that you've come to have your. <laughs> way too story. high. Lost items, difficult business decisions, what troubles happened? with your love life. These are but a few of the many services I can offer. So, don't be bashful. Serious? Let's see what your futures entail. Why does she have the kiss <laughs> makeup on half of her face? Oh, hold on a moment. When I first played this game, her voice sounded exact to the character you see. She had a sultry voice, a deeper sultry voice, which fit the character's look. What the fuck did I just hear? I don't know, dude. <laughs> uh, are you serious? I don't know. The only voice I think they've gotten right with this remake is Nash's so far. But what about Shinji? Okay, I'll leave Shinji alone. Only because we know who the voice actor is. It is kind of cool that he did it. Yeah, I... What about Dine? You don't like Dine? I don't know what you're talking about, kids! Jiminy Jellikers! She Willikers! <laughs> Well, we really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were just trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpse of your future, child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of your questions you have about yourselves are ones that I could answer. And you, Alex, I actually... I seem to see something of your future... I see a young boy wielding a magic sword on top of White Dragon with some friends and... Wait, what is this? What? Is that a mushroom with a mustache and... Oh! Oh god! Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. Um, that <laughs> must have been a glimpse into past life, maybe. Oh. Does that sound familiar No. At all? No, not at all. Montego, I can't. I don't hearing. want to talk about Montego Bay. Nobody wants to talk <laughs> about Montego Bay. Well, either way, you seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. But you're too humble to be a dragon master. You're too bitchy to be nice. Or you're likeable. unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. Dog it's an food. insult to think I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. Oh, ho, ho. I am not a cat. That voice is too high. I know. It's I'm not even too attempting it. High. I can't believe how high it is. I actually oh wanted my to God. do. I wanted to do a bit of a uh, like a fortune teller accent because I was goofing around with. Uh, Excella and yeah. Resident Evil. Okay. I kind I was kind of do. I was kind of gonna. Ugh, I was going to kind of do something like that, but her voice is just way too fucking weird. All and right. from when we first started this game, I remembered her being a fortune teller, and I wanted to throw back to fucking Bill because I thought about it. And if you think about it, it does actually sound a lot like it. It does. It does a little bit, but man, ah. Uh. <laughs> Oh wait, we still gotta go see Mel, don't we? Uh, yeah. That's about it. What are you looking at? I am looking up voice actors. Let's see if I can find a list of voice actors proper. Probably not, though. Uh-oh, man. Here he is. Oh boy, here we go. Clearly needed to buy a bigger shirt. I am Elda Alcar, governor of Moribia. I've not seen the likes of you before. You better listen and listen well, because I'm only gonna tell you this once. If you dare Come make trouble on me, sister, I'll top your heads off your twiggy little necks and mount them on me trophy wall. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's supposed to be nice. He's talking about ripping our heads off and shit. No wonder why this place is confused. The leader's confused! <laughs> Doesn't even know. Whoa! 
You scared the heck out of me, old man. I thought my heart was gonna explode, kind of like Ramses almost does. Oh god, don't talk about that. Oh. <laughs> don't be scared. I'm just fooling with you. Now then, what brings you to see me? Alex is gonna become the next Dragon Master, Ma uh, Master Mel. So he came here to pay his respects to one of the four heroes. Scaring the daylights out of us like that is a little rude, though, don't you think? I see we have a future Dragon Master in our midst. Oh man, that's rich! I like a lad with ambition. There aren't enough of you around anymore. That's what we keep hearing. So Alex, let's find out how serious you are. He's super and I'm gonna serious. stare at you while we do this. Yeah, what? Alex, you're gonna be smushed like a grape. Then we'll have some wine! <laughs> wow, this guy's a dick. Yeah, Look at Luna doesn't even say anything. Her mind is just miles away at this point. Is Alex gonna die? But she's still thinking about the fucking um I was gonna say an animal, but you know what, never mind. Come on, Alex! Let's see what you got. Find an opening and hit me with your best shot. In a turn basis. Hit me with your best shot. I don't know that song. Don't go well. easy on me, lad. Because I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Fire away. That was the next line you were looking for. Oh, that's what it was? Yep. Hey, you guys. Something's finally happening. Oh, God. Combat. I know, right? Um, you want to do Zipper Blade? Vigor. Alright. I can't remember. I can do that twice, can I? Uh, no, I believe it's just once. I don't think it, it goes as much, though. Dude, this guy's a dick. He is beating your ass. He is. Fuck, it's gonna be one of those fights. Oh, you and better hit. hit him. You better hit him with something. I go with sword dance. Yeah, but you see, I can't tell if that does more damage. It does. Than me hitting twice your... in a row? Yeah, because it does physical attacks. Oh, at least I think it does. It does do physical, but... This sucks. Yeah, run away, bitch. Oh, it does more. Okay, just making sure. Don't run back, fucker. Why do you bother running away if he was just gonna run back and hit me? Because he felt like giving you a chance to heal up. You know what would really be happening if he hit me like that? Oh, you'd be dead. <laughs> and about ten minutes later, Luna might go like, ah! Like, realizing. Yeah. And she's just like, Alex is dead. looking at, at Null, just so surprised that there's a cat flying. Luna didn't seem too dumb at first, but she kind of seems like just not all there. That I agree with you. Not quite, uh, Marl, not all there, Oh, no, but... that was a, that was a whole other level of stupid right there. <laughs> yeah! We're gonna move to that side. Woo! What you gonna do, boy? Ziffer Blades, suck okay. it. Totally seems out of place for me to be able to do that, but you know, whatever. Yeah, it's almost like they added that in. It kind of feels like it should be something of power later on, but. <laughs> oh! Good work. Kicked his ass so bad he just disappeared into the light. And you only got a hundred experience for I it. Know, what the fuck, man? 
Now he's ahead of everybody. Not bad, Alex. Not bad at all. That's the best fight I've had in ages. Really? A yeah. Fifteen-year-old kid. Shut up, bitch. You might be the next Dragon Master after all. <laughs> now what you don't realize is Mel is a little senile, and this is like the fifth kid that's come <laughs> to his house saying that. <laughs> he just attacks random people and be like, you're making next Dragon Master after all, as they're like, dead. Don't worry, Galleon, maybe Athena will love you this time. <laughs> he probably just randomly goes and asks Galleon, like, so how is Athena doing, like, <laughs> Galleon's like cutting his wrist. Of course he is. Alex met Quark, the White Dragon, and passed his other room trial. Really? Holy shit! I'm even more impressed than you that I was before, lad. I mean, he was just two miles down our road. Well, shit! I'll hail the next Dragon Master. <laughs> this dude's kind of a jackass, man. He's already drunk. <laughs> He is. He had eight beers before the fight. <laughs> uh. No, lad, I've got a daughter not much older than you. Only ten years? You want a fucker? Your daughter's name is Jessica, isn't it? I heard it from like 16 yeah. different people. And her mom died and you dote on her and she loves you even though she's a tomboy. Right, the girl's <laughs> got a heart of gold and sold a match. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying she's adopted? No, Galleon. <laughs> Galleon's adopted. Nobody loves that fuck. What's that? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. She's at Althena's shrine, learning to be a priestess. And she'll be a great one. Almost like she's a great addition to your party. So Althena's shrine is actually that dancer house down the street <laughs> and being a priestess is just slang term for dancing. It's dancer. learning how to take it in the pooper. <laughs> I didn't go that far, but... You should meet her sometime. I think she'd like you as much as I do. She might even heal you from the freak of danger several fucking times. But you're gonna have to grow up before I let you marry her, lad. Or start drinking lots of beer and becoming a thief and wearing a fucking speedo. That's my other requirement. <laughs> I don't know, Alex. I think she'd be just as scary as her father. Yeah, that's debatable. <laughs> Alright, let's go. No. So you're talking about Alex not saying much. Luna hasn't said fucking anything. Well, she says more than Alex. In like a half hour. That's fine. Alex hasn't said anything either. <laughs> I know, it fucking nulls the life of the party, man. Holy shit, I didn't realize I could go up here. Well, hopefully they didn't find any items. What's that to run back? Oh, here's the training hall. Oh man, we're gonna have to talk to all these guys. Alright. What's down here? The sewers. The sewers? Yup. Oh shit, dude, I don't wanna go there. Even though that is like one of the greatest songs in the game. Really? Dude, it's so good. Let's talk to this dude. No one is allowed through this passage by order of Master Mel. But we just walked through there. Where does it lead? Deep into the sewers beneath the city. It was built as an emergency escape route, but the sewers now hold the hazards of their own. It's good to know. Good to know. Are you new recruits? Why haven't you put on your armor yet? Move it, move it, move it. Wanna aim that baritone somewhere else? We're not soldiers. Whoops, sorry about that, kids. This is Master Mel's combat arena. Members of the Mermi Army come here to learn the, the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And how to high-five each other. And how to grunt like men. Have volleyball challenge matches. Shut up, other. we hold those sacred. <laughs> and new recruits come here to discover just how much they have to learn. It's good to know, thanks guys. Thanks a lot. You beat Master Mel? That's rich. Mel would never really fight a child. He was just toying with you, kid. Just like Althena toyed with Galleon's heart. We all know that story. Galleon's a loser! But I'm still impressed you were able to hit him at all. Nice job. Aw, oh, man. 
Well, at least he's not as wimpy as we thought he was. I thought he was dying of a stroke. Why? It's Jackie Chan. If I make it through training, I'll fulfill my lifelong dream. I'll finally be able to sneak into Jessica L. Kirk's room and, so and look through her silky things. These guys give me the creeps, Alex. Are you serious? Your goal is to look through a gr Master Mel's daughter's bedroom? Ooh, you know he gonna die. Yeah, I know. Not from the dad, from the boyfriend. My sparring partner's been talking uh, about working for Jessica all day. Kind of like how Galleon used to talk about all day. <laughs> And I keep slipping on all the drool, or all the drool coming out of his mouth. It's not fair. Dude, he's trained to mop food. <laughs> Poor as hell. <laughs> that was the, that was dark. I know, right? That's like a dark twist. Come on, Wimps. Doesn't everybody, anybody have the guts to challenge me? Like Galleon trying to ask Elfina <laughs> out? What about Alex here? Wait, aren't you the kid who fought Master Mel? Um... Oh, oh, ouch, uh, ingrown toenail. Man, that stings. Maybe we could fight some other time. What's next, childbirth? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at this kid. What is this kid doing in here? I want to fight, too. Come here and let me punch you. Hi-ya! Go away, kid. You bother me. Uh, hold still. Wow. I don't see his parents around. Alex, just one quick swat to the head. Pretty please? Dude, Clyde! I don't think the soldier... I don't think the soldier gig is for me, man. I'm sticking to living in my parents' basement. <laughs> like Galleon did for years. Like Galleon did. Galleon lived there until he was 46. Uh. <laughs> uh. Maybe that will... I'm sorry. Althina will love me someday. Nah. He's got a crudely made doll. He's just <laughs> brushing her hair. <laughs> Crying <laughs> while he's laying in his bed. Get out of my way. I gotta beat the tar out of this guy. Like oh. Dine did in winning Elfina's heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Galleon, you're just a good punching bag. I hope he turns out not to be the villain. He does. He is not. Nah, he's Would good. that fucking retard really be the fucking villain? Yeah, I mean, seriously. Some people say Jessica is a tomboy, but she always has kind words for the guards. It's good to know. I would, I'm so glad I knew this. The only way to get through this door is with a battering ram or a sweet set of lockpicks. So, it's closed. Fair enough. It is fair enough. When Jessica was here, this was a dream job. And now I'm forced to ogle the maids all day. She can't get back from that cursed shrine soon enough. Dude, everybody in this town What's is a bunch of fucking lecherous. <laughs> this door is locked tighter than the chest in Ramus's room. Or the refrigerator at night. <laughs> at Ramus's house. Dude, they chain that bitch up <laughs> and fucking dunk it into the river <laughs> to keep him from going after that. Oh god. Well, isn't it this cute? A boy and his monster. I'm not a monster, but I can bite like one. Look at that. He doesn't uh -huh. even care anymore. You fucker. No, it's alright. Alright. Everybody's making fun of Null. Okay. That's true, Null's the only one talking, though. It's because Luna's just like, Look at that pretty white thing flying in front of me. <laughs> oh, God. She's not dumb. Not yet. She just doesn't have that much to say, okay? Neither does Alex. Alright, now we're gonna go do this. We're gonna yep. go see that. We met Master Mel, now we talk to Ramus. He's been standing here for hours. You don't understand. This is a dragon diamond freshly minted from Quark's mighty keister. They really do reference the fact that it's shit. Yes. 
He doesn't give these away to just anyone, you know. How am I supposed to? No, just is it still a day? We had to do it all the time with Dragon's Accordion lately. Dragon's Accordion. It seems like we got a fool in here every day claiming to have a genuine dragon diamond. Ha ha! Well, I will admit, it's the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. I can't tell. Is he Tyrone Biggums <laughs> or is he fucking Roberto? Hey, Alex. You came at just the right time. I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might have to settle for a lot less than it's worth. You think you can help me put some pressure on him and give us a better deal? I'll threaten to eat him. Like I've been telling you, <laughs> man, this is worth a stone. No, the dragon diamond. Sorry, no. Okay, now people watching this, or when they do watch it can't see Steve, but he is literally scratching inside of his shirt collar, <laughs> and like all jittery and shit, so he's really getting into this character. No one's ever known, no one even knows where to find the dragons anymore, much less how to get down the front, man! Apparently he's gotta walk to the other room. Alright, alright, so how much will you give us for it? For a time of this caliber, I'll give you 20,000 silver for it, that's my one and only offer! 20,000 a lot? I have no idea. If it's like a dollar, then no, it's it's so fucking not. Like, at all. He's he's talking about being filthy rich and moving out of his parents' attic and shit, and that, that's not moving out of the attic money. That's it. It's your decision too, Alex. What do we want to do? I think you got yourself a deal. Really, you're giving him that quick? Yeah, I might as well. Fine. Excellent! I'll go in the back and get your money! Oh, some crack! <laughs> That's a crack! Head over to Diamond so I can put it in my safe! Wait here, please! Dragon Diamond's make wonderful crack! <laughs> He's just mashing <laughs> it in the back! <laughs> His nose is already just gushing, thinking about With it. One. <laughs> Oh, his eyes are like bloodshot. <laughs> he just fucking has a heart attack right then and there. I didn't realize it took so long to count twenty thousand silver, Alex. Maybe it's not too heavy for him, or maybe it's too heavy for him to carry it all out at at once. Ugh. Alex, something's wrong. What? I told you that guy's nose was bleeding and he was like, he was scratching himself and shit and shouldn't have given it to him. You know, I'm gonna go look. You know, Joss, hello, where are you? Luna's is just like, that kitty's gone. <laughs> Alex Ramis, not Luna, Joss is gone. <laughs> and so is the dragon time and we've been had. Please don't hurt me. I just started work here. <laughs> Uh, I don't know anything. I don't know anyone. I just do. I just do what the man told me. My jaw's hurting. Oh. Why don't you go talk to Master Mel? Maybe he can help you. He can't. This is all my fault, Alex. I should have known Joss was a con man from the start. I got cocky because I was able to catch Clyde. I'm so sorry. I was hoping to just get cock, but cocky. <laughs> All right. What in the fuck, man? We lost the diamond to some crackhead. Look, uh, he seemed legitimate to me. Really? I mean, the way he was scratching himself just promoted good hygiene. So Luna's just like, Ramus is back, Alex. Yes, <laughs> my love, he, he is. I don't know how she went to that. She's not supposed to. Alright. Alright. Talk to these idiots. A lot of citizens have reported strange noises come from the sewers. Maybe because it's all the fucking monsters across yeah, the bridge? Yeah, it couldn't be that fucking 50 pound slug jumping up and down over there, could it? So Master Mel sent me down here to investigate. But I'm afraid I keep, if I go any deeper, 
I'm afraid to go any deeper into the sewers alone. Whatever's down there might devour me. That's exactly what Ramus thought. I wish I could devour nuggets right now. <laughs> Clyde's back! I was thinking about swiping Dross's loot, but I've never been able to catch him while he was out. I haven't figured out that his hideout his hideout is in the depth of these sewers. This guy's a thief. Do you think we should put him under citizen's arrest? Forget about him, no. Dross is the one who ripped us off our diamond. We really don't have time to be getting involved with anyone else. Alright, so we need to grind this smidgen, don't we? Alright, now I'm gonna warn everybody. Um, I kinda did open a few chests. All they were were starlights. That okay. Alright. But yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm doing a two level grind. Gotta, gotta. Oh, wait. Um. What? We gotta, we gotta run back out to the Altana statue. Yeah, the the banana statue. All right. And heal up real quick. Should have bought more soaps. Regret, right? Well, there's nothing I can do about it now, okay? That's very true. So why don't you just calm your roll, okay? You mean Ramus' rolls? Yeah. He's got several of them. Well, he's got to calm one of them at least. Alright, here we go. Yep, now we're going to do some leveling, alright? Oh, we're done! Yeah, now, oh man, people kind of jumped around a little bit. I know, right? Yep, now we're level All right. 16. I think we'll be good. Yeah, we should be pretty good. Yeah. I even, I bought a ton of stuff. Want to show him what see, you bought? See, Alex is level 16. He's got pretty much the same shit that he did before. As always. And Luna's actually got some new stuff. She you got gave a longbow. Her the longbow? She's got a robe, a silver armlet, and a headband. Alright. And a flame ring. And Ramus got shit. And she's just staring off. Look at her. In the distance. Into your soul. She sees something. I don't know what, though. She sees pretty colors. And Ramus, we literally... He actually got some new stuff. I gave him some stuff. Why? Because I didn't want him fucking dying. He hasn't gained any stats in four levels. Because he sucks! Yeah, Ra at this point of the game, Ramus gains no stats from leveling. Yeah, kind so, of sucks. If, if you want a spoiler there, he's not a long-term character. No, he totally is. He's gonna be there forever. He just caps out at level 12. <laughs> yeah, it's totally cool. It's legit. One hit from, like, a big monster will kill him, but he he's gonna be there forever. He is. Alright, yep, here we see, go. Now I, put, I put the gates down, and like I said, I opened the treasure chest. You got a little too zealous in your grinding. It's no problem, alright? Alright, here no we go. Problem. Yeah, check it out, guys. There's finally a fight. Something's happening on the stream. It's well, kind of like watching Whale Wars. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> well, you have to go through plot, you know. Yeah, Alex is done carrying out. He's just wrecking the shit. The Ramus, he's still going on. <laughs> Luna is doing more damage than Ramus now. I know. Which is no problem. I mean, Luna, Luna's cool. She has more hit points than Ramus. By Stuck. two. <laughs> that was Ramus's thing in the beginning, was he had all the hit points. Because oh, he was, he was fat. That's all he had. Alright. So we're gonna go around and kill every single monster here. Maybe it's, get a it's, level. it's like talking to people, alright? Yeah. We gotta kill them, too. It's like... What, you don't have any quirky thing to say with a pop culture reference? You're just gonna try to kill us, huh? Yeah, pretty Fuck, much. Whatever. Luna, why did you run so far up? Damn, Alex is fucking... He's fucking owning it. I forget how strong Alex gets, like... fast. Dude, he gets tough. Paunchy snake, dude. Paunchy dude, I want snake. a paunchy snake. Would. I would. Shut up. Nobody loves you. 
one. <laughs> Nobody loves you. Is that is that being Galleon? Oh God. Ah, uh, I have to say, I am not a fan of Royce's voice. I'm not. I. I haven't heard anybody else's. Well, in the old game, her voice matched the character, you know? I would say that. But in this, it's so wrong. I just want to hear a certain other person's voice. Fair enough. And see if theirs is bad. Well, we'll find out eventually. Because I don't actually remember. Do you know who you're referring to? Oh yeah, I know who I'm referring to, but... You'll probably have to tell me after. Because it's spoiler, right? Huh? Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous about that one. With, the way, with some of the voice acting choices they made. I mean, Nash's I completely agree with. I don't mind Nash sounding like Dax. He's on... He's... He's gonna be the second punching back. I, I hope it's Crispin Freeman. He just he's gotta be in there randomly. Uh I can look up and see. He's if he totally could. not, but it would be fun. You know what? That would be a hilarious stream of critical role to watch. What? Just get the entire Slayers cast to roleplay a session of D&D. As the Slayers characters? Not necessarily as them, but just have them play some D&D characters. If they wanted to play themselves, that would be fine. Yeah. But just have all of them <laughs> do some. Yeah, I agree. Oh. I didn't know you watched Critical Role, though. No, Mike was talking about it. And we talked about it, so... It's, it's probably one of the better shows out there to watch. It's D&D &D done with, like, a, a, a huge epic story and stuff. Oh, see, I didn't take that to the I love no. that one. So we'll know... We'll, it's a surprise. But it's probably a healing herb or something. I honestly remember these monsters being a lot harder in the older games because they were pretty hard when I started off. Alright. <clears throat> I'm kind of walking over them right now. Yeah. Like, I remember in the PS1, like, this being a lot tougher than what you're making it out to be. But I'll say this, Lunar to Silver Star Story Complete was probably one of the top priorities to do my play. Well, there was one area in that game in particular that was rough and fun for me. Red Dragon Cave? No. But that was it's a hard... It's the, uh, the trial. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was a rough part. Ah, you gotta love the Tranquil song. Oh yeah. Dude, look at that fish! Look at that fish! Get a look at that fish! Woo! You know what? Just just for fucks and giggles, I'll show you what Alex can do. Right Explosive now. stab? took that entire place down. Take this, you fiendish monster. So I already flipped down the uh, bridge. This is as far as I went. Okay. I stayed. There was actually a, a run that I was doing between the two Nautiluses. Alright. That's that makes sense. They produce a lot of hit points, right? Well, they were giving me uh, 48 experience of top. Yeah. So it was basically 100 experience 
for just running back and forth once. Oh man, Ramus, you're so awesome. I hope you die. He probably is gonna die. Fucking die. Shit. Dude, he just got wrecked. See? He got treated like how he treats Twinkies. I know, what the hell, dude? Look, Ramus! You did your job! Dude, those <laughs> fish do Ramus. not like him! <laughs> Holy shit! Loser! I'm not gonna heal him. No, fuck him. What's he gonna gain? His stats? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. His, his massive nothing he gained last time. Yeah. The waste of herbs on him. See, I got one back. There you go. Dude, I love this song. Yeah, I do like the rendition of this song. The soundtrack to either or is just fucking great. It doesn't matter which. Alright, here we go. This might pose a problem. Due to positioning? So why the snails first, Tom? Let's get your insight on that. Um, they do an all attack. Gotcha. And two of them doing an all attack. Yeah, well, murder Ramus. Probably not gonna be able to hit him, but. Oh, he burned his other. Oh, he burned Damn his it, other Alex. attack. Yeah. That would have worked out. I do have went for the front one. How did he not kill it? Because I'm thinking his hit points are like 42. I noticed when he hits 41 or lower, he doesn't get the kill off. Starlight, Steve. That's crazy. I know, I'm happy. I'm excited for you. Not all making fun of you. I know. What? Huh? What? Huh? Hmm? I hate you. What? Dude, I hate you more. So do all the monsters come back when you leave the room then? Yeah. Alright, so it's not like the old one. See, I thought they did. No, in the old one, um... You can just... If you left the dungeon, they would respawn. So what you could do is you could kill every, all the monsters and then go treasure hunting. Afterwards, but I guess you can't do that so much in this one. I see that makes uh, grinding a lot more irritating. What? Having to run all the way out of the dungeon and back. Well, I mean, when you go for the dungeon, you said you went offline again. I'm just checking it. It probably didn't. I'm hoping so, because I'm gonna be pissed. All you're doing right now is killing stuff, I mean, hey, whatever. Yeah, but that means that we're missing stuff in the screen. But then again, the recording is still going. Yeah, you got you based off the recording. Here we go. It's loading up. Guess the phone doesn't take the uh, continuous play for too long. Guess not. That's all right. Man, we've had uh, we've had a lot of talking in this one. We have not had a lot of talking. But then again, there are part parts of Ludar where it is heavy plot. You know. 
Well, which is fine, because it's been pretty humorous, too. And sometimes Lunar makes it so we don't even need to make the joke. I know, right? So it makes it a lot easier on us. Now. Traveler's checks, and... God, that's so old. What else? What else did we hear that was funny? We got traveler's checks, a lot of cocksucking references. What did that one girl say on the boat that was so weird? Oh. I can't remember anymore. You forgot to switch the. I did flip the switch. I did flip it. You did? Yeah. I did. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Uh huh. Man, there's a lot of enemies. Yeah. It's always been like that, Lunar. 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 Linear. Look at that, Luna's going first. Love going, guys. Yay! God damn it, Ramus. You deserve that. He deserves to die. And he's probably a die from cholesterol problems. Luna did it! Second. Yay! I helped out Ramus! See, look at look at Null. He was landing on her head. I was like, yay. I'm the winner. Stupid thing. No, that that was bullshit. What? It hit from you. It hit from you. I'm right here. By you, I mean Ramus. Oh. Saw him coming. He's like, oh my god. Oh my god, the world is here. <laughs> He's gonna think I'm just classic seafood. Think oh I'm my Joe's god. Crab Shack. That boy is so fat, his belt size the equator. Whoa! <laughs> You're going from a your mama joke to Ramit joke. Man! Ramit's so fat. He plays pocket pool with the planet. <laughs> you remember those old jokes? Oh, yeah. What was your favorite Yo Mama joke? There's so many of them. There are, but what is your favorite? Um. Your mom was so stupid she got hit by a parked car. That's a good one. One of my one of my uh, favorite ones is uh. What was it? Your mom is so small she can hang light off a Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should be going whoa as we do that. <laughs> I don't, think you're gonna, I don't think you're gonna pass it, dude. Dude, you're such a dick. <laughs> I told you, you're not gonna pass it. No, I'm gonna make it past it. This is happening. Alright. Oh, you had your you had your open window. Dopey's moving back down. Dude, it's like watching one of the screensavers. Fuck! <laughs> Like, what happens when the uh, tadpole becomes a human? Mm -hmm. Or something so. like that? Oh, look, Ramus is dying again. You worthless piece of shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it happen. And there you go. Yeah. 
Look at that Ramus. Woo! Get a load of that Ramus. Is Darth Vader now? Or is that his sleep apnea? That's mask? a sleep apnea, Matt. It's a sleep app. Get a load of that Ramus. Tom just like trying to so find a way. What do these paunchy snakes not have in common with Galleons? What is that? They actually have people around their love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between Galleon and Donald Trump? What's that? At least people pick Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. God damn. <laughs> well, he did that to Galleon already. That's right, folks. We got Galleon jokes for days. <laughs> Galleon, such a loser. Dude, you might be Galleon if you're totally whipped and still not getting any. Well, well, well. Oh, here we go, Tom. I made it past him, and no. I wasn't even trying. And you... Wait a minute. Is that the boss room? Shouldn't be. No. Yeah. Alright, good luck. No! Oh! You're stuck. Good luck with that. might be Galleon if you think you have a chance with a goddess, but your derpy best friend ends up taking her instead. You might be Galleon if your gun rack has a gun rack on it. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a Galleon. <laughs> If you know, you might be Galleon if you're dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> you might be Galleon if you happen to meet a woman who reminds you of the woman you fell in love with, try yes. to m mentally rape her, and then you still lose. <laughs> you, and you still lose to a Dragon Master. Not that that'll ever happen in this game. Yeah, you might be Galleon if you got two chances with the chick in your dreams, but you still lose out to a 14-year-old. <laughs> you know, Galleon's motivations in, uh, for doing what he does is actually much different in the Sega CD. Yeah, I don't understand. How how did the uh, the boat song happen if Luna didn't There was no boat, boat song. What? Yeah, there was no boat song. Dude, that is bullshit. Yep, they just went straight to Moribia. That is dumb. That's why a lot of this stuff says Alex and Null, and that's why Luna is quiet in a lot of this stuff. Oh, that's Dross, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't know that way, though. Well, now, keep in mind, when they did a lot of translations, there were a lot of differences. But they still kind of kept the same context. Like, Luna wasn't with Alex at this time, so... That's why she doesn't have a lot of the speaking parts, except to say obvious stuff. Is that why she's suddenly, like, really dumb? Yes. Yeah, the, like, uh, motivations change drastically. And I can tell you that when everything comes to light. Look at Rambus. Yeah, I... Every time he celebrates. So, where else do you have to go besides meeting up with Dross? Um... Actually, that's as far as we know right now. Alright, why are you heading back then? Because there was another door. Gosh. I didn't go that way. 
Dude, yeah. that's video games 101, man. If if you know the area that you have to go, you go the opposite direction. It's kind of like anti mo anti shopping logic. Yeah. You ever seen a chart of uh, a sea chart? No, there's like a chart somebody drew, like how how women shop, and you see that it starts in the opening, and you see the line going all around the store <laughs> back and forth. Yeah. And you see how guys shop, and it's from point A to point B, back out. Yeah. And then it's video game logic, how women play, and it's from point A to point B, and back out. And then how guys play, and you see the line all around the cave. <laughs> I guess that's sort of true. Well, true or not. Look <laughs> <laughs> that dog! Woo! Woo! Oh, we missed out on that sweet treasure. That's from uh, Mel's place. Well, I'm talking about the one treasure in front of you. I'm gonna get it. Don't Dumb worry ass. about it. You know what? My name's Tom. Try not to be such a galleon, all right? You think you're gonna get what you want? No. Oh. One time, a girl touched me. I paid for it. She probably did. She probably touched his arm, like, kind of trying to be friendly. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, we, we make fun of Galia, but honestly, he is one of my more favorite villains. What do you mean? He's not a villain yet. He's still one of the four heroes. Whatever. He is not revealed to be a villain. You're jumping ahead of the story. I guess I guess I'm just assuming things. Why are we assuming? I've totally never Because of this. his because of his ill fated prophecy at the end of the prologue? Yeah. That's what I would have thought what he was doing. No, Dine's obviously the bad guy. Because he got everything, so he's the bad guy. Yep, it's totally me. It's totally me, G Willikers. Fuck the world. I decided that I didn't want Althena just to make Galleon even more mad. I just threw her away like trash after I the living shit out of her. And then I sent Galleon a video of it. <laughs> it was just me writing the goddess for four hours. Straight. Galleon watched it in a dark room. Me just waving hello because I knew he'd be watching it. <laughs> Poor Gallion. So where are you going? I'm gonna go out and use the statue. Why? I don't want to use any starlights. Who use the starlight? No! And God. I'm trying to kill a bit of time because I want this next level up. Oh, I see. You want to level up before? Yeah. Uh, meaning drops for hit no level, reason? Hit level 17. For no particular reason? He's just down there having his stone. Just sitting there trying to snort it. Getting stoned. Ha ha! He is, dude. He loves it. Dude, what about Ramus's MP? What about Ramus's MP? Yeah! It's always at zero. So we need to start caring about his magic. Shit. What? Oh, let me think about that. Alright. You're gonna have a thought there, and then you're like, huh? Oh. I'm sorry, I had a Luna moment. Ooh. <laughs> a Luna during the part she wasn't in moment. You know, they remade this game at least twice. You'd think they would have had enough more foresight to add Luna's name in some of those games. Yeah. Alright, I got it. Alright. What does Galleon have in common with Ramus's MP? Ooh. They're both not getting any. <laughs> I am about to say, I was going to say chances of scoring with <laughs> Althena. <laughs> uh, dude, we're, we're just brutal on Galleon. Oh, you're going back? Yeah. Oh. Oh, sure, well, yeah, I got... Oh, fuck. 
Still trying to farm out that last level. I'm so close, at least for Alex. Alright. Trying to think of more alien jokes. Ain't much to think about, you know. There's plenty to think about. Like, Galleon's so sad. Oh, jeez. I had one, too. What does Galleon's house have in common with our chat room? What? <laughs> it's empty? <laughs> oh, yeah. Very true. There we go. That's a knock on us. Uh, that's a twofer right there. That is a twofer indeed. What does Galleon have in, uh, what does Galleon have in common with San Francisco? What's that? The only friends he can make are fairies. <laughs> <laughs> and yet he hangs out with a group of women. <laughs> I know. Does that, does that mean he's that, that best friend, then? He's the best friend. Like, he'll get fashion advice from him. He's like, yeah, I think it looks nice. Okay. What was that guy? That's not good. Fine. Oh. I wonder why Lamia lets him stay there. Because he's the premier, man. He's got to. Oh. Gotta love it, though. <laughs> oh, see, now it's all happy. Yeah. Farley, all that shithole! I mean, this place smells an awful lot like crack. <laughs> but, you know, it's... It smells heavy of cocaine resin. Alright, let's do this. Let's go get our rock back, homie. Let's go get our rock back! Some rocks. What I hear they're doing these days. <laughs> just so uh, just a little bit of info too. You see uh, the placemat there. Yeah. Um, those white lines aren't actually decorative. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not part of the design. It's actually it's coke it's coke line. Has that ready for new customers. Okay. All right. Some crack? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Tom, you did it. I gotta still fight a few people. Yeah, that's true. Because now it just doesn't matter if I get hit, because I can still heal. And you won't be using a Starlight! Yep. Look how that worked out. Remember, man, we're entertaining ourselves. We're good. You guys should have saw it. I, I could see that just pierce Steve's very soul that we don't have anybody watching. Nah, not really. That's all right. That we have been galleon. We have been galleon. We have been galleon by our followers. Basically, we're the galleon and they're the Alpina. I don't know. I'm just having fun. No, oh, I'm having a great time. Here we go, is this it? Yeah! Alex leveled and stuff. Still didn't get anything. Oh well. That's alright. It is alright. He bumped his stats, that's all we could ever ask for. There's this there's a specific attack I want. Uh the flash cut? Yeah. Yeah. I keep thinking Eagle Strike, but that's I I wanna say that's fucking Cloud Trigger, Chrono Trigger. Eagle Strike's not even Chrono Trigger. What, what are you the hell doing? What am I thinking of? Oh, you're thinking of Air Strike. Is that no, it? Falcon Strike! 
Yeah, that's what it is. That's what you're thinking of. The one where Isla throws you in the air and Kronos goes, I'm coming through! I'm not yelling at you. Danger zone! See, now the punchy snake has something in common with Galen. What's that? It's, it's all alone. alone. Oh, man. And then he died. And then he is unable to learn how to fap. He needs it, too. Really bad. God damn it, Ramus is gonna get the level up. That's right. Useful level 17 for Ramus. Dude, it's totally useful for him. He might get one point of range. He's not gonna get anything, I guarantee it. Well, you're, you're very right about that. Because God is he worth one. You know, even remaking this game, I wonder why they still continue to not stat Ramus. Look at his dicks. It's like, no, he needs to be that useless. <laughs> I mean, even if, like, Luna now, I mean, Luna still gains stats up to, like, high levels. Why, what are you, what are you insinuating there, Steve? I don't know. Luna doesn't have that gonna be there at the end vibe to me. Really? Kind of that, kind of that Elium Van Houten from Xenogears sort of vibe. Yeah, like she's very important to the main character in the beginning, and stuff happens, and uh, she's gone. And so gone. And she's gone. Oh, look at that! He didn't even get it. They just didn't even give him a level anymore. That is true. Why do we even bother leveling this guy? That is one game that I had high hopes when I played it, and then there's that ending part, that second part was so disappointing. The game was great until disc two. Yeah. It's almost like Square didn't have the... Oh god, Square didn't have the budget for it anymore. So how can we cheat this last part? Or they just stop caring. No, actually, I think it was a budget thing that forced them to do what they did. Are you kidding me? No, but Xenogears... Xenogears isn't a huge money title. It wasn't back then, at least. So they basically had to go halfway through the game, it's like, we skipped through many parts. Don't know what we're talking about, go ahead and play Xeno... Xeno Gears, you'll love the first disc. Alright, Ram Ramus did not go up in anything. You are worthless. <laughs> what? He is worthless. <laughs> he is. It's not even a joke. There you go. What does Galleon have in common with the evil wisps? What is that? Both got blue balls. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. What? How many times we've made fun of Galleon? I just feel like the second half of our stream <laughs> is just Galleon folly jokes. <laughs> Don't worry, it is very warranted, because I have a feeling we'll be doing that for a while. Yeah, he's the Luca of this stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, the difference is you're not voicing him this time around. You're not voicing the Luca. <laughs> God damn it, Ramus, you totally deserve that. You deserve to die from the very fish that you devour in one fight. I'm surprised Nal isn't coming down there and we're like, Oh my god, look at the fish, yeah, there's a little fish! They're not lights, too! It's like looking like drops. Ha <laughs> They're like fish and frogs. See, there's Galleon's balls right there. <laughs> Dude, 
see when he needs the healing arms. He was hoping that they were coated in sugar. Yay! <laughs> I go. <laughs> oh snap! You did it. You ready? You ready for a hell of a fight? Gotta love that ability to uh, save wherever you want, right? What? Gotta love that ability to save wherever you want. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Nah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Where are you? What are you? What are you doing over here? Standing all alone? Don't be Galleon. There you are, thief. Give us back our diamond now. I don't know how you kids found me, but it doesn't matter. Damn meddling kids. Because you won't be around long enough to find your way back out. Aha! Kill both the pet. It's feeding time! <laughs> you see Rambus like... <gasps> <laughs> the Chobo! Whoa! Oh, why is he on the bow? Alex! What is that? Surprise, kids! I'm pretty amazed myself! I never knew my little pet would grow so quickly down here! <clears throat> well, that had become so... in handy for getting rid of annoyances like you! It's a he, why has he got a bow? Shut up, bitch! Get ready, Alex. This pet looks like he's hungry. Kind of like my pet. <laughs> and my best friend. <laughs> I am totally gonna eat it. <laughs> As Luna's just like, huh? And I Ram like that bow. Ram Ramus is like, I like chocolate. All chocolate right. is good. Chocolate is good. <laughs> chocolate is good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Chocolate is really good for you. Cascade song. What you want to I'm gonna do. I know well, he's doing vigor. Yeah, but that those two effects stack. Whatever. Fuck you. It Fine. works. Shut up and let Ramus do something worthless. Like attack. That cascade song itself. Or... Do do you? See, she said she finally said something. Boom. Go, Dude, Ramus! That, that was incredible. Ooh, you may need to spread people out. Like Holy f that hurt. Alright. That felt good! Good! Alright, sword dance. Um. Tranquil song. Or goddess him? No, I'm doing. Alright. And then he needs to, like, defend. Wait, I can't. No, I'm not doing that. Um, Defend and move them. Can you do that in this? I can't move them. You can't move them? I don't think so. What? Defend. Hit defend. Unless I. No. Hit defend. AI tactics. No. Hit, no. Hit, hit, the, hit command. Go to defend. Move them. Oh, okay. Whatever, bitch. I'm trying to make sure you live. What, I got hit hard one fucking time and you think I'm gonna lose? Not if he does that fucking fire press ability. That's appropriate. Stop the <laughs> garbage lit up. <laughs> Alright, so now I think you want to move Luna away from Alex. Move you away from Luna. Shut up! I should do the one thing you're good at, swing your fucking sword. I will! Well, no, because she needs to be able to attack. What, she attacks with her bow? Yeah. From any range? Not from any range. No? No. You, you want to get her away from Alex, though. You know, I want to see where she attacks from, and then I'll deal with it. All right. You know what? No. Let's see where this dipshit hits from. Look at that thing! It's like. 
Ooh. just loves being hit. God damn it, Are you Rams. serious? Ugh. Looks like you just have to muscle through it. I didn't know they would move the brain weapons. You cascade herself. Oh, uh, using the, using the, uh... Oh, I think it's good. Yep. Yeah, I did something! Yeah, well, sit back Go ahead and tell your dad that. Fat mom. <laughs> This is attack. His dumb ass is gonna get hit no matter what, so. Might as well add a bit of damage in there. Exactly. Oh, that's Oh, hey, Ramus. attack from back there. Hey, Ramus. Alex. Alex does the same amount of damage. In one of his swipes in Sword Dance. Piece of shit. He's a dumbass. And you know what? Just because I want to see this... God is him. Fair enough. How, now, how do those rebuild? It's like over battles? Um, it, it's the same as a limit break. Okay, so he's got to get hit enough time. Yeah, you get hit, you do stuff. Okay. Oh, it revives MP. Pretty sweet. That is awesome. Yeah, that ability alone tipped this battle in your favor. Dude, I was never gonna lose it, alright? I know. I can't believe you honestly thought I was gonna lose. No, it... I mean, you still gotta use the same strategies because of that one ability, but... Chocolate ring, yay! Way to go there, dragon. No, it's not dragon, it's aqua lizard. Oh, so it's it's like a Charizard? Charizard! Charizard! Smell! Hi, I'm a sexual predator. <laughs> sexual oh, predator. I am a registered sex, sex offender. offender. Onion turtle. Oh, yeah, that's Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, um, yep, this is basically boss fights, you guys. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're on Rammus. the fuck you, you doing? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Point, point it! We point it! it. Uh-huh! You know, kids! Can't we talk about this? Hey! You kids are getting dangerous close to invading my personal space! You haven't even moved. Okay, okay! This is all the money I have! Take it, it's yours! Really? Really? Well, I'm wondering. We agree on a lot more than that, Trolls. Hey, I have an idea. You own your, uh, your shop, don't you? Of course I do! So what? Because now I own it, Dross. In exchange for the diamond. That's a fair deal, right? Uh, sure it is. So I guess I'll be leaving with the diamond now. What do you mean? I sold the diamond to the shop. And since I own the shop, I own the diamond. If you don't agree with my logic, we can just keep you down here until you realize how much sense it makes. Like me drinking Slim Fast. Did Ramus just do something useful? I just pulled his ass. Ramus, and, uh, I never knew. <laughs> I knew you've never heard these words before, so I'll be gentle. You are 
kind of the man. You are definitely Yay. a man. <laughs> kind of a man. You register as a male between male and female. <laughs> You're definitely yeah. not a galleon. Yeah. Because ah! I think everyone deserves a second chance, Dross. I'll give you a job. But if I ever catch you trying to scam someone again, you are so... Does this happen a lot? Oh yeah, hold on a moment. He's, he's just kickstarting his heart. FIRED! Is like my gonna, favorite chicken burrito. Is he gonna get off on that? Like, <coughs> the apprentice? Thank you so much! I'm turning over a new leaf! Nothing but honest work for me from now on to crack cocaine! <laughs> Never said anything about the crack! <laughs> I'm returning to my, the US shop! So I'm waxing the floors! And snorting coke! I can't hear a second just like, who is that? I know I can't trust him, but he can teach me all he knows about business. Then I'll fire him! Like my burritos! Spoken like an almost Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> Rambus, you're totally ruthless. You're gonna be a great businessman. And I'm gonna run for president of Bolivia. <laughs> Oh man, she says, I'm proud of you, Ramus. Let's get out of here and take a look around your new store. We've already looked at it, you dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Ramus, don't tell me you're starting to like it down here. I mean, it does smell an awful lot like home to you. Oh, uh, I, uh, forget it. You, you, can keep my ha you can keep my half of the money, Alex. Having a shop is more than enough. Wow, 250 silver. <laughs> Thanks. Let's continue this conversation up above ground. I need fresh air, and I need it now. Is she always coming down there? Yeah. Oh yes, there's no doubt about it, is there? She is the one. Later on, I will explain some stuff that may not make sense as we get through here. What, you think I don't know? Well, I'm talking about um, the translations between Sega CD and this version. Get out of my way, Galleon's the, balls! The, the main story difference. <laughs> oh, you fucking... Spread it out just far enough. Always. But now you can just magic these guys out of your way. Oh yeah. Can't do an explosive stab on like that. Oh man, Ramus owns a shop now, Tom. I know, it's almost like he's kind of growing up. It's almost like he's about to leave soon. God, I hope so. Who do we have the punch on then? Galleon? But he's not, we haven't even met him yet. Oh, but I'm we've seen him. So we've seen him. <laughs> I'm talking about who are we going to make fun of? Like, in the party-wise. Um, Johnny Bravo? You mean Nash. Yeah, I, I can't insult Johnny Bravo. That's but, uh, right. Nash is going to be our new punching bag. Here we go. Look at, those, look at those fish try to breathe. They're almost like they're imitating oh, rambles. Oh, where is the soap? <laughs> oh, I understand your pain, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just walking for me. I walked five feet once. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's so much wind out of my sails. Get it? It's about a pirate ship. Whoa, man! That... Oh, oh! Aw, oh, you're almost there. Makes me mad. It is good music, though. It is. You can really snap your fingers to it. Snap your fingers to it. <laughs> Holy shit! While they're weak to it. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, you did it! Woo! Made it. You did it. Got out of there. Got out of there quicker than Althena did when Galen tried to ask her out. Oh! Oh, hey, look who it is! Thank you, Galen, for showing mercy on Duramus. I almost forgot. There's someone here to see you. You're back! Excellent! I heard about your journey through the sewers to find the diamond! Yeah, you could've came down and helped. And how you killed dozens of monsters along the way! You may not have any magical abilities, Alf, but you're still very strong! Strong enough to come to bed with me! Oh boy! Yay! I'd rather get a bi- I'd oh. rather get a bisectomy! Oh. I'll introduce you to Galleon! He's the coolest dude ever! Just ask me! And he'll get you in some classes at the Magic Hill! He gets all kinds of chicks! In his mind! <laughs> Think about it, Alex! You could finally learn to use magic! Even though in the Sega CD version you did use magic! What? Nass actually complimenting somebody besides himself for once? His Lunar completely frozen over like the blue star? That has to be an added line. Probably. Because until Lunar 2 came out, you were not supposed to know the Blue Star was in an Ice Age. Actually, the very end of this game, you can actually find that out. But that's supposed to be unknown to people on Lunar. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to point out a dork fact. You're a dork fact. Would you let me f please finish, Cap? Thank you! As I was saying, Alex, despite your dubious choice in pets, I enjoy your company. Kind of like how Kellen enjoys his plastic dolls. And so I can see so many of them. <laughs> I can see the enormous potential within you. The Magic Guild is always looking for people like us. People who can stroke it. <laughs> people who want to take their potential and turn it into skill. Kind of like turning a hard painted flaccid. <laughs> Ew. And if you come to the guild, you can meet Galleon and Lumia, the runner up in the coolest of the four heroes ever. <laughs> two of the four heroes, Alex, two people who fought along Dark Dragon Master Time. They even may be able to tell you more about the dragons. I think Steve's gonna die, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> What should we do, Alex? Go with Nash or not go with Nash? Don't look at me, Alex. This is your life and your choice. But I, I, yeah, I promise to follow you no matter where you go. You mean that, Luna? You'll follow me throughout this entire adventure without leaving my side? Pretty sure. I don't think he wants to. No, do magic. but thou must. So in that case, next stop, Bane. Excellent, Alex. You won't regret the decision. We should depart for Vane immediately. Ugh. I can't take walking anymore, guys. Alex, my, Alex, my knee's fucking hurt. I'm gonna stay here in Moribia. Magic's way beyond my grasp. Next, not to mention, I definitely had my fill of nearly getting killed by giant monsters and walking <laughs> and getting killed by giant monsters. Did I mention walking? <laughs> Besides, I'm a businessman now. I'll be too busy remodeling the store to go anywhere. Alex, promise me you'll keep having great adventures. And bring me an oxygen tank when those things are invented, please. I have a feeling my onset diabetes is going to be kicking in anytime soon. <laughs> well, but Ramus, you really don't have to come with us. Actually, this is pretty nice. <laughs> this is a win-win. <laughs> You mean you get to stay behind and act like and we can still be your friends? <laughs> Sorry, doll. I've already made up my mind. <laughs> no, I said don't come. I'm really glad about that. You don't have to say anymore, doll. <laughs> but it's it's totally going to be great without you. <laughs> but I mean, we're going to have Nash, though, so that kind of sucks. Well, take care, Ramus, and good luck. And hey... It's not like we'll never see each other again. Oh, it's totally. I have like the that. mirror, and I have, and I'll be giving you free shit, and I have some equipment you can buy in the middle of your adventure. Dude, we're more likely to see you again as Alex is to see his parents again. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to stop by the store whenever you're in town. 
Thank you, Alex. Thank you for everything. You're the only kid who made fun of me about my weight. <laughs> but you did it in front of my face. I wonder, so, I wonder what Joss has to sell now. Hello there! Nice to see you again! Welcome to my Ramus store! I've been working hard for Ramus. It's paid off! He says I'm about to get raised! Dude, it's been 15 <laughs> minutes! I still can't believe Ramus hired this jerk in the first place. Oh, I can't buy anything? Not yet. You gotta wait. Like, Ramus will always have, like, periodic things. But that's right, guys. Ramus will no longer be in our party. Yes. Instead, well, we, we get, got this dipshit. Yeah, we got dipshit McGillicuddy over there. And as you can tell, Luna is watching them pass and, uh, passionately kiss. Oh. Look at that. Damn you. <laughs> it's like kissing myself. So, should you upgrade Nash's equipment? Um, I already bought him stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, let's, let's see what you got him. So, fireball so, got staff. Him fireball staff. So, here's the thing about the staffs. Um, and he already has everything that I can get him. The thing about the stabs is you don't have to use them as attacks. If this is the same as Lunar 1, you can use them as items and they do magic effects. I, th I think they do. So it, it's kind of better for Nash to use them as items than as weapons because his magic stat's much better. Yeah. Alright, though. Alright. Uh... Uh, this is a good time, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very good time. Alright. Well, it's been fun, Tom. It has been fun. All right. Granted, nobody came to watch, but whatever. Couldn't whatever. We had a good enough time all on our own. All right. Well, all right. if you see this in uh, post, we'll, see, we'll talk to you later. Yep. Yeah. Everybody have a nice night. Whoever Happy watches night. this.